I, I love the premise of this show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about, about smart, smart shit. Oh, we go where we're not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Show. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this episode of the Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> oh, Mobile, Alabama. I'm sorry. All price, all websites. Are optimized for Mobile, Alabama. No, mobile. Oh, <laughs> sir, optimized. Whoa. 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 What did you say? Whoa. A website. Website. Okay. <laughs> Leap it. <laughs> and, and it's so simple. Start with a design Jesus. template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's start the show. Mm. We are live from uh, Flagrant Studios. Yes, sir. WTF too busy for us now, bro. Yes, we had oh, WTH. Stop. Yeah, what the hell, studio? That's good, though. That's good that WTF is booming like that. It's a good problem to have. Yeah. Um, I was actually going through the airport. Yes, I went last week. Last week, I went to Atlanta. So I had to, I went to, yeah, I was at the Jersey airport and Atlanta airport. Two people at the airport. Yo, Charlamagne, man. I love you on Breakfast Club. I love your books. I love you on Flagrant. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, no, 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 I didn't even no, correct no. him. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, word. <laughs> <laughs> it was two people. It was a security guard at security guard at Newark and another security guard in Atlanta. You'll well, probably see him if you go to the airport. That's right? why we're here. With we're here for you, the security guard. <laughs> <laughs> we want to make your dreams come true. How was your week, man? And it was good. I don't even remember anything that happened, bro. We it had a, feels we had like that, week. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Why? feels like that. I mean, cause, I don't know, because it's uh, everything be a blur. Like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I really enjoy being home. And so when I'm out, I'm so laser focused on work. Yeah, yeah. So I can only remember certain moments. Like, yeah. I, if, if you ask me about a week, I could be like, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. I had a conversation with this person. Yeah. Couldn't tell you what day it was. Yeah. I know I was in Atlanta last Friday because, uh, you know, Stacey Abrams is running for governor. She had a um an event called Unfinished Business that I moderated with 21 Savage and uh. Uh, civil rights attorney Francis Johnson. Okay, so that was that was fun. And I know you had Cal Penn on. I think I had Cal Penn on last yeah. week. Word is, I had Cal Penn on last week. Damn, see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I had to think about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was last Thursday. He was on. That's so funny because uh, I like time exists where I see shit on social media. So even though I know the show's coming out every Thursday, yeah. if I'm seeing the clips Monday, I'm like, oh yeah, this week. But that's how. I, but that I think that's how we all treat it, right? Yeah. Like I treat all content like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. It don't to me content is content. Like of course you drop on a certain it day. It don't matter the exact day no. as long as you're indulging in it. That's all yeah. all you want is people to see it. Yeah. yeah. Now you don't care how they catch it, whether it's a clip. But people will watch a clip and think they saw a whole show. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Cause all of that counts nowadays. That's a fact. Yeah. All, all, all of that counts nowadays. How was he? Was he impressive? What do you mean? Just like talking Define to him. Fine impressive. Yeah, like like did you show here's, here's the did problem. Did you show him your video of the slinky or No, I didn't show him the slinky. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's another example. I did that months ago. <laughs> Wait, really? Yes, we did Celebrity Game Face, uh, Kevin Hart show Celebrity Game Face. Month that was literally months ago. Oh, wow. that might have been last year. Oh, wow. Like towards the end of the year, I don't even remember. Yeah. But um, here's the thing with hell of a week. I only get to talk to these guys for five, seven minutes. That's not what I'm used to. Yeah, you need more time with them. I need more time. Yeah, yeah. You want to see if you can really put their work in for hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can be impressed with seven minutes. Yeah, you know what I'm so saying? Can I put that work in for an hour? Yeah, you know, yeah. I want to see if you can... Mm, mm, you yeah. know what I mean? But now I like how we... Are uh, you going to have any straight people on your show? I didn't realize he was gay. Man, isn't he? <laughs> he is, he is, he is. I... Oh. I, I I didn't realize that until <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. doing show prep for the show. <laughs> you see, Shub, Shub knows, dude. They know every brown gay. You gay, Shub? No. <laughs> Shub, 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 Sugar? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but Come I didn't on. know. I, I knew because I, I, I saw him on Kelly Clarkson talking about his person. His what? His person. What's his person? That's, his, that's what they call, like, that's a... I don't know. That's the politically correct way to say you got a guy, I guess. You know what I mean? I oh, don't partner, know. partner. No, he said person. My person. Yeah, he was like, my person. Who person, was it? His name is Josh. I remember that from watching Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. that's when I realized it. And uh, But see, in a longer form interview, yeah. we would have got to Bro, Howard and Kumar in 2023. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of diversity. <laughs> <laughs> Low key, yes, dude. Yes. It was a stoner movie. Yes, man. Yes. 
They would have got high. <laughs> and then? Just, you know? Monkey pox. Come, <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> come that's nothing you want to do after going to White Castle. Dude. <laughs> nah, but I like I like I like Cal. I just wish I had a longer time to talk to him. You know what I mean? Right. Um, he did give a great answer about could they do Harold and Kumar in two thousand and twenty three. Oh yeah, well, you it? go back and you watch movies like that, and you're like, yeah. this shit would never fly. Wait, why? Why would that one not fly? A lot of misogyny. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's up, man? Wasabi? <laughs> You're very sporty over there, Wasabi. He used yeah. to be racist. He yeah. used to be racist, but no longer. Sabi, down. Sabi, down. What does he want? Is he supposed to be that big? <laughs> yes. It's a she, yeah. I didn't know Shih Tzus get that big. That's Did not that? Shih Tzu. Oh, what is it? It's a golden doodle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. He just pulled yeah. any dog name yeah. out of his head. It's not even close. To it just looks like a shit. No, not even. <laughs> He's like, what that bulldog doing over here? Bro? <laughs> well, salute to uh, Shao Pin, man. Um, what else happened this week? Queen. Oh, yeah, the queen died. Which queen? <laughs> The, uh, the oh Queen Elizabeth yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay explain did another, I, I'll, I'll joke another Queen die I didn't I don't expl I'll joke aside you probably had him on your show <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we care about the Royals so much bro I don't oh okay yeah right. I was proud that she died in Scotland that's a payback I thought she'd been dead Jason Lee been called that one wait really <laughs> yes Jason Lee called that months ago and y'all not oh, giving him his credit oh that's right <laughs> Yeah. And by the way, when Jason called it, there was a lot of people I know that was saying, yeah, she probably did pass and they're not going to announce it. I don't know why, because I don't, you know, I'm too busy trying to even figure out the politics over here. So yeah. I don't even know why they would hold on to that information. Yeah. But then they did see her a couple of times after that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, yeah. you know, Jason Lee called though, it. The, the, the royal family is like, uh, it's really the only reason you visit England. You know, you're like not going London, the, like London, like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Ed, Ed ain't just hanging out in London no, when you yeah, get to go yeah, visit that's him. That's true. I'm just saying, like, I think that they did some calculations and more people go visit Buckingham Palace and, like, all the, see all the the, the, the monarchy and how yeah. it's displayed. Because you're not going for the weather. You're not going for the food. Yeah. Right? Like, you're going there for a specific reason. This is maybe, like, the last or the oldest monarchy in the world, Shub. Is there an older one? Uh, no, Queen Elizabeth was the longest reigning monarchy. But there's a monarchy that it's, that's older than... Oh, it doesn't matter. This is the most successful. That's good information. Can they hear you? That was good information just now. What's that? What do you say? I the didn't know this one is still in Luxembourg. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is Luxembourg? Like part of... Talk Williamsburg? To, talking to Mike. It should be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Luxembourg is like some random Germanic country in the middle of Europe. Okay. Um, very tiny, very small, famous for chocolate. It's like Brussels, oh. Luxembourg. Brussels is Belgium. And they have oh, their own Belgium, king and queen? Luxembourg, uh, well, I'm not sure if they do still, yeah. um, but I'm going to have a look for you right now. I just want y'all to give Jason Lee his credit, man. He got the year right, bro. <laughs> I think it's counts, an easy bro. prediction. The 96-year-old is going to die? You could have been calling that for the last 20 then. Nobody did. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, people did. Jason got the year right. Yeah, and she got the onslaught of memes because people have been making their memes for like the last five years. Yeah. I don't e by the way, I don't even know enough about them to I mean, I know that, you know, of course, colonization and other but other than that, I don't yeah. have the time to well, find, make it, the memes. Like the why the trickiest thing about it is like everybody goes, the queen is powerless, but then they also blame her for all the colonization and everything. So like which one is it? Yeah. Is she did powerless she, now? Was she more did she have power back in the day? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that they're just like a figurehead. And I think that yeah, like yeah, they're yeah. just like an example of like what English people are supposed to be. Yeah. And I can imagine if you're not like a rich English person, you're like, well, fuck them. And if you are a rich English person, you're like, oh, well, here's my North Star. Yeah. It's just very confusing for me, man, because, you know, you hear all of these conversations and it's interesting because they're from coming from both sides. Yeah. The Republicans and Democrats are both saying democracy as we know it is coming to an end. They're just both saying that it's coming to an end for different reasons. Mm. Right. And you got all these different things going on in America, but when some shit like this happens, yeah. our news just stops. I think it's And so CNN pathetic. and MSNBC and Fox uh, and everybody else becomes all about Queen Elizabeth. So I'm like, 
Are there really real issues going on? No. In our country like they say they are? I mean, there are. Of course they are. But we don't care. They they don't care like they pretend to care. Yeah. You know what I mean? When And that, that, that really pisses me the fuck off. Same thing with the Johnny Depp, Amber Heard trial. All of this shit going on in the world. Yeah. And this what you stopped the news for? I mean, that, that trial was fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that trial was so fire, dude. Because he was just bodying Shorty every single day. Yeah. Like, every, the lawyers. He, he showed what a star he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, he was an actual superstar. Yeah. They both got low now, though. What Last you thing I heard was Johnny Depp got he signed a deal for something. I thought he was out playing uh, concerts and shit. Concerts? Yeah, he's like a musician. He'll like play oh, guitar for like bands and stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and then she, I don't know what she's doing. She like sold her house. Well, Queen, she did? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, He's uh, struggling. Queen Elizabeth, what is it? What is, I don't care about, why are you pulling this it's stuff up? Taylor just pulled up King say. Charles, the, what is that? The second or third? King Charles III gets frustrated during signing ceremony. I can't bear this bloody thing. You're so mad. Mad about what? Is that Joe Biden? <laughs> yeah, basically. Who, who is that? That's King Charles. I, bro, I don't. I don't. I really, yeah. When I say I don't care, I really don't. Okay. I, God bless those people. I don't care. <laughs> like, there is nothing about the royal family that interests me in any way, shape. The only or thing that interests me is why people are so interested. And I guess you can indoctrinate people and make them believe that like families have value or yeah. things have value because there are many people in Britain that love the royal family for yeah. whatever fucking reason. I'm not sure why they love them, what they do for them, who they are. They're not even English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queen Elizabeth is German. Her husband was Greek. Really? Yeah, because you got to marry within the royals. And also, they're like third cousins or something like that, which is kind of crazy. But they're third cousins. Well, with... that's how I say you can fuck your third cousin. But here's the thing. You can't fuck your third cousin if everybody in your family is already cousins. The royal families on, have been... Down. I'm a little okay. slow today. So, look. <laughs> so, like, the royal families, the whole thing with the royals, right? This is... Or monarchies in general is you want to marry blue blood, which is, like, okay. the, the other royal families. Okay. So, you got to find other royal families and then connect them, right? So, they've been doing this for fucking hundreds of years. So even the third cousins aren't like me and you third cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, third yeah. cousins, but they're also related and everybody in the family's related. So yeah. the DNA is super jumbled up. Yeah. So it's not you banging your third cousin. It's probably closer to you banging your cousin. First of all, I don't even know what third cousins are. And, and you know what's so funny? The doc, Dr. Oz, that conversation came from Breakfast Club in 2014. Like the conversation that they're using against him now because yeah. he's running for Senate in Pennsylvania. Yeah. The, 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 the <laughs> audio that he's using <laughs> he came said, from Breakfast Club. Because he, he said you can have sex with your third cousin? Yeah, because somebody called in and said that they can't stop fucking their cousin. Oh. And I well. guess I guess somebody asked what was what number cousin. And um, uh, Dr. Oz was basically saying, yo, if it's second or third cousin, it's fine right yeah, yeah. So, okay <laughs> okay so he said i can't stop smashing my cousin we hooked up at a young age and now in our 20s she still wants it no matter how much i want to stop i always give it to her help me now what well, advice would you give that person uh if you're uh, more than a first cousin away it's not a big problem okay so second cousin <laughs> yeah. <is> fun to <laughs> smash. Yeah. you know it's so funny because i knew that yeah. <laughs> how did you know that because you I'm smashed from the your... country yes, sir. third yeah, cousin yeah it's fine it's all good, good. <laughs> I don't know anything past first cousin. What? Who is your second cousin? Well, you can have sex with whoever uh, allows you to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? The yeah. issue is just when you have children. Yeah, that, and that's what I told Dr. Oz. I'm like, yeah. I've been heard that. The reason it's, you, it's gross, y the reason but if you want to have sex with your your third cousin or whatever. And you could be risking having a child that has some deficiencies. Yeah, a that's, little wonky. Hey, and that's a fact. But I just yeah. don't know what, who, do you know who your second cousins are? No. Me neither. But on purpose, so I can fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, you guys know your second cousins? And like, who are you going to have sex with on a random mm. night out? Bro, that shit is wild, bro. Especially yeah. when you grow up in a small town like Monk's Corner, South Carolina, because you could really be kicking it with a girl and then their mama be like, you know y'all cousins, but they'll, she'll be like, I'm my 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 grandma was your granddad's second yes. cousin. Yes, I'm the cousin. And it's like, what does that even make us then? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That makes you related as fuck, dude. Think about that. Related to fuck? Yes, sir. Okay. Now listen, think about this. If you're adopted, you ever think about that? The anxiety Ooh. of like an adopted kid. You didn't see that story? What? The two. Uh, oh, stop it. The, no, the bro. The, uh, oh God. The brother and sister oh, were both adopted. It. And don't have been dating it. for like three, four years. Pull it up. Oh, that shit just came out like last week. Yes. I think it's fake. I think it's fake. I There's think it's one no of those way. internet things uh, that, you know, people do for attention. Yeah. But her story is, they, she found out that her boyfriend or fiance 
was actually her brother. They both were adopted. They both oh. got put up for adoption when they were young. But don't you think you would know families. when you're having sex, like it would just fit perfectly or whatever? <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> 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 don't, you, don't you think? Yes, woman finds out she is dating her biological brother for the past six years. Oh God. I don't know if this story is real, but it's oh, an interesting God. conversation because what do you do? Oh man. What do you do? You've been with the brother for six years. You're in love with them. And you find out that's your brother or your sister. What do you do? Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't it know. Ain't, you, it, what do you do? I don't know. I don't know. There's no turning back. Yeah. <laughs> no. What do you do? I mean, you've already fucked You've them. fucked already. So nobody's like, oh, yeah, it's like fucking them more times doesn't take away from how gross it is. And then what if that's your real soulmate? Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. What if that's really your soulmate? Yeah. God. That's on God. That's not even on oh, you. Oh, man. And, and uh, if, yeah, but if, yeah, if they have kids, now you intentionally possibly making a wonky kid. Yeah, you could we be don't making know a wonky <laughs> kid, dude. You could be making a wonky kid. What are the kid. stats of the kid coming out wonky, guys? <laughs> Let's look that up first. We don't know. We don't know if that's true or not. That's a, st that's a thing. We've heard this before. I'm but just what saying, are the stats I think it? there's like a 33% chance you have a Willy Wonky kid, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Do you name the child Will? I think you have to, dude. <laughs> you got to name, really the, you you gotta name the child Willy Wonk. Oh. <laughs> 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 you, you got to name it Willy Wonk. I really don't know what you do in that situation, yo. If I, if I find out that the woman I've been dating for six years is actually my sister. Mm. Woo. Mm. And are you really brother and sister if you didn't meet his brother and sister? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know, bro. I think you do. I don't know, I man. Think, yeah, and I'm going to tell you something. You, know. you start to think I about think. that stuff. Me and my wife have been together for so long that it's like, are we brother and sister? That's like my family. Like, I don't know. Like, I know that's my son, wife. Son, but it's like, son, come on, bro, it's crazy. Nah, chill out. Yo, and the way we <laughs> yeah. talk to each yeah. other sometimes, yeah. it's like, this is either husband and wife or two siblings, yo. Oh, yeah. son, I'm yo, serious, yo, I'm serious bro. Yeah. This is going to be a Dr. Oz clip, right? <laughs> uh, listen, if I, I'm going to run for office one day just so they can get all this shit out. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> I need to see what they got, bro. I done, forgot, I done forgot so much shit. I need to see what people holding on to. Yo, <laughs> that's funny, bro. For real, man. Yo. Sometimes you just got to announce you're running for office and motherfuckers just dump their goddamn hard drive on that's you, man. That's funny, dude. Like, you knew you had a fire tweet back in the day. You forgot what it was. You're like, man, let me say I'm running for president. So I can find that shit real quick. <laughs> let me get this shit out of the way before I move on to the next level of my life, man. <laughs> Um, what else in the news, man? What about the Phoenix Suns owner? Incredible. What do you, wait, have you seen? Wait, wait, you, you ain't see the dialogue. Oh, uh, I thought you, I thought you did that on purpose. What? You said incredible. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Yo, Taylor, do you have the dot? Do you have the things he was saying? Okay, First it. of all, I'm mad bust that there's not the tape. We got the tape from Donald Sterling. Okay. This shit right here. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you do realize the sexist and racist language, sexist thing, he was totally out of pocket. What they're calling racist language is him quoting other black people. Okay, let me see. Which, which, like, like which, the president. Which, pre which Joe Biden has done, which a lot of politicians have done. They're quoting other people. Do you have any? Uh, hold on, pull up something because, hey, Sarver complained that a black player on the Golden State Warriors used the N word during a 106 100 win over the Suns on October 30th, but wasn't hit with a technical foul. He has also to have used the word as he complained about referees to a son's coach who was black. He also sent a, a contemporaneous. contemporaneous email. That's like a dinosaur. He sent a contemporaneous <laughs> email to the league <laughs> office complaining about the officiating during the game in which among several examples of on-court actions that he contended were incorrectly officiated. Oh, here's the, he preferred to quote the Warriors player as saying the N-word spelled out with an A at the end, the probe revealed. And at least twice from 2010 to 2017, the report found he used the N-word in repeating what a black player's family member purportedly said while boarding a team playing. White folks in the front, niggas in the back. The wow. NBA probe couldn't confirm a detail of the ESPN report when Sarver is alleged to have said in 2013 that he preferred hiring black coaches because these niggas need a nigga coach. Now, <laughs> these niggas need a nigga. Let me tell you something. That shit is funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can say what y'all want. The quotes are funny. Because think about it. You're the owner of an NBA team. The majority of your Yo. team is black. Yeah. So you're hearing these things about, oh, you know, the N-word is a term of endearment and yada, yada, yada. So you're trying to relate to your team. Yeah. 
You're trying to relate to the coaches. Yo. You're trying to relate to the players. That sentence doesn't sound like a white dude. I'm going to be honest with you. What? The last one. That sounds a little made up. That's wild. It just don't. It sound like a dude who's down a bit, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why I just think it's funny because he, he, he's quoting other black people and he's trying to sound down. Also, he's saying he wants to hire black coaches, which is the biggest issue in professional sports, and, right? They're like, why are there all these black players and there's no black coaches? And then look at the time frame. It's 2013, right? 2010 to 2017, 2013. Yeah. And I'm not making excuses for this guy whatsoever because white people should never use the word. Yeah. But if you're talking to your players and they're telling you, if you just ask, why do y'all say that word? You know, because I'm old. Like, that word was, that's a terrible word. Like, yeah. nah, it's a term of endearment. We flipped it. We changed it. But if nobody tells you that, yeah. if somebody tells you that, but doesn't tell you, but y'all still can't use it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you might do this shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might do this shit. So who snitched on him? I don't know, because it ain't no tape. Where's his N-word tape, man? Yeah. Donald yeah. Sterling had the N-word tape, Yeah, bro. white people really been buttoned up with that N-word, man. Until social media. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, there's not a lot of tapes where, like, white dudes are just ripping the N-word. Yeah, because you know they saying it way more than that. <laughs> I mean, it depends how people are using it, though. <laughs> yeah. Most people that use it publicly think they're using it in the proper context. Unless they're racist. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they think they're using, they're using it in the proper context. Like, when you listen to, when, when Joe Rogan was using it, he was using it trying to describe how people in this generation use it. Right. Mm. He wasn't using it as like a hate, a form of hate. No, he was, yeah. he was, he too was quoting people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So can we quote it? I mean, listen, President, I, I wouldn't. President Biden did. Because <laughs> I'm surrounded. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> but I can see how that will fuck somebody up. So you hear when you hear somebody's plays, like, yeah, the guy, um, uh, who's that, the Warriors? Is Jackson's friend just said, White people in the front, niggas in the back. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. I can see how that might confuse a white dude, bro. But if you give us the ability to say it in like quotes, we will abuse your old, your old. That's yeah. why you shouldn't use it. White people should never use it. And this is another example yeah. of white people should why white people should never use it. He's suspended for a year and he had to pay ten million dollars. This also lets me know that. Um, what does that mean? Suspended? Like you're the owner? It's not like you got a player. I like that. have no idea. You can't go to the games. So you're not allowed to be at the games. That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it, it could hurt, though, especially if they win a championship. You know what I mean? Like, that could hurt you as a owner. Ooh. That's what you want. Like, imagine Jerry Jones gets suspended Ooh. on the year the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. He'll be dead by then. But with, by the time the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? This is, I, I don't know. I found this humorous, but it's just yet another example of why white people uh, shouldn't never use the word. There's no win for you whatsoever. Yeah. Using this word. Yeah. Um, And words kind of falling off. I'll be honest with you, bro. Nah, that shit still. It don't hit the same, nah, dude. It, does, it, does. it don't, bro. bro. When it costs you ten million dollars, it does. I mean, that's nothing to him. Ten million. You gonna write that off? Yeah, it's still a lot, though. I'm just saying that there but, are other words that hit harder now, man. Then and then the N word. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who, what? Who? What? Broke. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> see, see, that's the thing about the N word. You might be right in some to some extent. But it's all the adjectives that go around it. Yes. You know what I mean? Calling someone a broke ass N word, bitch ass N word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, and to your point, if I say gay ass N word, they're not going to focus on the racism. They're going to focus on, on the, the gay. homophobia. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, 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 I, I, can see, I can see what you're saying. Uh, what else we got, Taylor? Oh, yeah. What's the deal with the whole uh, Ray J? I really don't know. I, I I'm I'm confused about the Ray J, Kim Kardashian thing because I thought everybody knew that that tape was, um, like all parties were involved. Like but, you can't you can't profit and distribute all you can't distribute and profit off those sex tapes without both parties signing off. You know how I know because when I used to work for Wendy Williams, celebrity sex tapes used to come through all, all the, the time. time. You know what I mean? He got and, triggered by the lie detector test that Chris. Yeah, J yeah, James Corden. Uh. Lie detective test with Chris and Chris said, uh, no, I don't know why Chris then would even continue to lie about it that's at this point. Weird, right? Is that like <laughs> that's the thing that's weird. Is that they are still trying to put out this like um this story that they weren't involved. Why? And uh, maybe they feel guilty about it, maybe they're trying to clean up their image, this, that, the other. It's crazy how normalized they are talking about the sex date. Bruh. There's a literal porn that's out from her daughter that we've all seen. Yeah. 
And they're just like, oh, yeah, let's joke around about it on late night. I wish they would talk about it. You know, I wish they would talk about it. If they would have talked about this sooner, they would have saved us from so many trash ass sex tapes. Because there was so many people <laughs> who leaked sex tapes thinking yeah. they was going to be the next Kim Kardashian. Right. Not realizing there was a whole plan behind this. Yeah, yeah. Not reason that these people, not realizing these people were very strategic and intentional about how they released this tape, how they promoted it, how they marketed it, how they distributed it. Like, you cannot go to Vivid Entertainment with a sex tape with two celebrities and they just buy it from you. Those yeah. celebrities have to sign off, which I thought everybody already knew. So, so to me, it's like, for them to continue to lie and act like, you know, they didn't have nothing to do with it, it's like, that just, to me, it just adds on to the genius of the Kardashians if y'all just tell the truth about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you and, think that they're using this? Do you think they're using Ray J? They know that Ray J will react? They've so. been using Ray J for 18 years. Mm. <laughs> like, that's their go-to. That's a golden oldie, baby. Wait, really? Ray, Ray J's a classic Kardashian hit. Mm -hmm. like, they can always go back to Ray J if they need a storyline. So why do they need a storyline now? I don't think they do. I just think that we give them one. Like, yeah. I think that happened on James Corden. I don't think they did that on purpose. But Ray J reacted. And I'm yeah. sure that'll be on an episode of, episode of the Hulu show next season. Yeah. And guaranteed. It's like, so I, don't, I mean, I, I get why Ray J is upset. And if Ray J can get a check out of it, I'm not mad at him. Cause I, but I don't know if that's defamation because it's not like she said, we didn't put the tape out, but Ray J did. But if, is that what they're alluding to? If both of them are saying we didn't do it, he's the only other person. Yeah. What's up? One of the things put the mic to show, Taylor. Stop trying to hog the mic, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things is uh, Ray J got really mad at the first season of the Hulu show because the one of the first episodes came as like, oh, uh, Ray J's manager just called. He says he has oh, another yeah, yeah, tape. Yeah. And uh, oh, they, yeah, they, they had that whole storyline. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. all saying that there isn't another tape, but Ray J brought out the contracts to prove that there's three. <laughs> so it's the third tape that is like, uh, because then Kanye brings the tape to save the day. Yeah. So Ray J was like, oh, no, the yeah. tape is still, it still exists. I mean, I, I can understand why she don't want them out no more. I mean, she got kids now. You know what I'm saying? It's different when you, you know, popping that poom poom for a goon and you don't got no churn. But now yeah. you got kids that can go online and see that shit. And it's not even just their kids. It's the kids at school. That's the thing. They're going to bully them. Yo, is this going to be the first generation where the kids can look at other kids' moms' pictures on Instagram yeah. <laughs> when they were young? Yeah. Like, this is a wild time. Yeah, bro. Because back in the yeah, day, the only bro. thing that was printed was pretty much famous people. Like, if yeah. your mom was in Playboy, you could go get the Playboy. Yeah. And, like, or someone's mom was in Playboy, you get the Playboy and share it. But it's a weird time where, like, literally every kid's mom got pictures of them partying in Cancun on oh. spring break. Right? That's go not dad. Son. That's what it's going to be. Real talk. Yeah, That man. is crazy. And the thing about Playboy is like, you know, yes, you had celebrities that did Playboy, but for the most part, a lot of those Playmates weren't super famous. Right. You know what I mean? So even if they had kids, they don't yeah, really yeah, got to tell yeah, these yeah. stories. You forget who they were. Yes. Yo, that is weird. Why Why weren't the Playboy, why are Instagram uh, models so famous now, famous, and Playboy models weren't? I think bigger audience. Social media? Yeah, social media. Bigger huh. Social media allows them to have a bigger audience. Down. Like with Playboy, it's like, you know, back in the day, you either buy a Playboy magazine or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and I, I, I haven't seen every Playboy. Anymore. Oh, they were even hard to get. They were wrapped yeah. in plastic. You had to be 18, where Instagram, like, everybody can yeah. go on and go, go. Yeah. And I was one of those idiots who fell for the whole, I read Playboy for the articles. No, oh, my God. No, no, yeah, so as a kid, when you, when you hear that multiple times, yeah. I don't want no fucking Playboy. Give me a penthouse. <laughs> and penthouse, they fucking, you know what I mean? You seeing some shit in penthouse. I don't want no, nothing for no articles. Uh. So I never even checked for Playboy. Mm. I think the one time I checked for Playboy that I can remember was when, didn't Kim do it? I think I Kim did Playboy. Mm, what? You yeah, Kim did. did uh, yeah, uh, Kim did Playboy. So you know, do you, do you think that uh, what's your what's your position on porn? <laughs> like, do you think porn should be illegal? I like uh, missionary. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ask for a position. He said, "What's my position on porn?" I like missionary and doggy stuff. <laughs> I like porn, man. Porn like, is cool. It, it, do you think it should be regulated at all? Do you think there should be any rules? Like, there's a lot of porn that's just man, up there. I'm, I, honestly, I don't, I don't know because I don't know why our parents kept it from us when we were young. I remember, I remember getting caught with a penthouse of something. I had a trapper keeper, and I just had like the pages in my trapper keeper, yeah, 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 yeah. and my mom 
caught me, and I remember my dad saying, like, yo, you want, I remember here, overhearing him in the kitchen, because we grew up in a single-wide mobile home, so my room was right by the kitchen, yeah. and I'm hearing my dad say, so you want me to punish him, because he's looking at goddamn Playboy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? He came in the room, and he was like, yo, look, man, just hide this shit from your mama better next time. <laughs> nah, I told you, put that away, you know what I mean? Hide this shit from your mama better next time. So it's like, I don't know why they hid it from us. Yeah. We're going to see naked women at some point in our life. Women are going to see naked men at some point in their life. Yeah. Like, you know, I think once you, once you, once your child is old enough to understand sex and you tell them about the birds and the bees, yeah. what's the problem with porn? I'm, okay. I'm, not, I'm not gonna sit around and watch one with okay, my kid, okay. but. What, what about, what about this? Like, uh, porn, if somebody was gonna make this devil's advocate argument, mm -hmm. porn, generally speaking, is displaying sex in a way that the man would like because men are the biggest consumers of porn. Okay. And maybe that changes as more and more women watch porn. Mm -hmm. But, does it warp a young person's idea of how to fuck if the content is being created for the ideal way that a guy wants to fuck? So some 12 year old or like me, when I was younger, I'm watching like, oh, wow, that's how you have sex with a girl. You do it in that crazy way. It doesn't really seem like they're caring if the girl enjoys it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that yeah, make yeah. sense? It makes perfect sense. So now you got these kids that are going and hooking up with these girls. They're like 14, 15, 16 years old, right? And they're like, with with really no concept of this is how a woman would be pleased because yeah. the porn is shot in a way to just please the dude. Yeah. The biggest complex is that, Am I making sense? I get it totally. Um I actually it's so funny, I had a I had a uh yes, I've heard that before. I know people who feel like they had a significant others who had porn addictions and that right. was one of the things like you know and they they fuck like in the porn yeah and it's like they and and, and it gives the woman a complex because it makes them feel like i can never be that yeah i can't get to that and also like even doing that might not be what you enjoy but now you're doing this thing because you're like oh that's what guys like yeah so the girl's like oh i'm gonna just let you fucking throat me or whatever like that yeah, or like yeah, yeah. face fucking it's like the dude's like that doesn't really feel that great. It's kind of like rubbing against your teeth and shit like that. And yeah. the girl's like, well, this doesn't feel that good because yeah. I'm just like a punching bag for your dick. That's how I felt about dicks. Watching what, dicks and pornos all those years. What, uncircumcised? No, I was just like, I don't, that, I'm like, that's not real. Nobody's dick is that big. Oh, yeah. So even if I could do those crazy moves, yeah. I don't have the dick. Well, dude, th uh, what should they do what they do in sports? <laughs> what? <laughs> draft, draft dicks? No, like, what? you know, if, if some guys are you know, looking like they're using performance enhancing drugs or something like that. Then yes. Punish them. Yeah. Kick them yeah, out. Yeah. The, kick them out. I mean, the that's league. the thing with porno, though. Porno, you want to see that. Like, that's the thing about porn. You don't want to see average. I want to see a guy disappoint the girl every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it more relate. I want to see a guy be like, oh. like, so, like, can we have one porn where the guy's like, I'm just not in the mood, babe? Like, yeah. Where the where, where's like the that? premature ejaculation? <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, yo. <laughs> Wait a 30 my second. Bad. Yo, look that up on Pornhub, Tim. Why y'all keep making me put porn on my computer? Don't act like you don't watch so, porn. On, that's yo. the thing with women. Mad women, women watch porn. Computer. But y'all do enjoy porn, right? Yes, I do. I know. What porn I do you enjoy? Watch, I gotta watch porn when I masturbate. What? <laughs> no, no, no. I've heard this before. <laughs> me too. Do you watch lesbian porn? No. But I've heard women go, I, I watch. Gay, I could watch gay porn though. Hold Wait, on. So you like hold the on, hold on. Gay porn? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I think, but... Sabi? <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> Sabi is judging Sabi, you right yeah, now. Yeah, Sabi is like, what the fuck? How many dicks you what need, lady? That's what she's saying. <laughs> Hold on, you watch two dudes fucking? Okay, so... God, you love... So, Dirk. Yeah, I think it's one of those things where Yo, I like just watching it. When I see two guys, I'm not thinking like, oh, it's two guys, whatever. It's just two people, and I, I see dick. I like seeing the dick. Now, see, that's interesting because I know women who don't like gay porn. But I know a lot of women that do watch gay porn, too. Really? Though. I know I know women who, maybe I'm older, but women used to watch lesbian porn, and that made sense to me because that porn is made to satisfy the woman. The woman, yeah. Right? The women are eating each other out in a way that women would like. And that's why a woman could put herself in the mind frame of the girl receiving and then that's just right. ignore the fact that... But it's like what you said. There's no f end. What do you mean there's no end? <laughs> <laughs> there's no, no end. end. What, does that mean? Like, what does that mean there's no end? They're just eating each other. Like, I want to no, see... No, the, the girl will squirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl will squirt. No, that's not... And, like, he's just, she's still going. I want to see the end. You want to see a guy come. <laughs> yes. Because we end it. 
Yes. A right? squirt can be. A, I mean, fire, you're right. Dude. A squirt is not an ender, but it can be. I mean, don't criticize this. This is fine. No, no. <laughs> a squirt, a, <laughs> yeah, a no, squirt no. is like a semicolon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a comma. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> the sentence isn't, keeps going. Is it finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah, we yeah. got part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what yes. Is. Yeah, yeah. That's right. A girl's orgasm is a comma. Our <laughs> orgasm is a period. Period. That's exclamation Patient point. In the story. Yo. All right. The book is over. Yo. All right. Turn the audible off. So you okay. need to see a dude come and then it's over. You need the money shot. I mean, no, not. I, I could come during the porn. But yeah. But like, I like to see it. End. So you'll type in gay porn in your laptop. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Don't judge. I, feel, I see a lot of judgment coming for you. I'm not judging. Judge <laughs> what about trans porn? No, I haven't done that. That shit is wild. And Pornhub don't give you no warning. Like, you be scrolling through videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was scrolling through. I just seen yeah. some big-ass titties and a big-ass dick. And yeah. I had to look because I thought that they were in, like, some weird position yeah. where the woman was on oh, top. I'm oh. like, oh, wait a minute. This is all one unit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, this is all one unit, bro. It's everything like, I need. Porn is fun. I don't want to see. I think trans porn is actually straighter. I had this. I would joke around about this on Flagrant. But if you think about it, there's a trans Woman, okay. So that means a woman that has a penis and tits, and then a yeah. cis woman, right? That's uh, the same amount of penis as regular porn. I don't understand this math equation. Cis Explain is, what I'm trying to say. So, it's just more titties. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got you. Right? Because if you have a man and a woman, they're having sex. Yeah. That's two titties, right? If you have a trans woman. That means a woman with a penis yeah. and a woman having sex. That's four titties. Yeah, I care nothing about tatas. Really? Yeah, I don't care about breasts at all. Really? Not even a little bit. Mm-mm. Really? Mm-mm. <laughs> Not even when I eat chicken. I'm a I'm a leg and thigh guy. Oh no, you're crazy. Yeah, I don't even like. I don't like. I'm not a. I like that too. I don't. I don't care about breasts. I don't care. Like that's not what I look for when I look for a porno. Is that right? Mm-mm. Maybe because I mean, I, maybe because we've seen so many breasts throughout the years. Like breasts used to be back in the day, seeing a nipple was a thing when you yeah, were young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's like that's the first thing you see all the time. You know what's interesting <laughs> about breasts, bro? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Even guys got them. Breast. You know what's the interesting thing about breasts? Breasts. Uh, now titties are great, but. Is there a difference between titties and breasts? Yeah, of course. Uh, but <laughs> titties being just barely covered are almost better than titties uncovered. Ooh, mm-hmm. no, that's true. You know what I'm that's saying? That's true. That's true. Like when you got like a little star on it or something. Yeah, you know or like I mean? a, yeah, like yeah, a yeah, shirt yeah. that's kind of see through. Yeah, you can yeah, see yeah. like the darkness yeah, of the nipple through it. Yeah, but like, yeah. so so you almost feel like, am I seeing something I shouldn't? Yeah, you know, like yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, like yeah. a nipple piercing is fire, right? Because you get to see titty and you're like, yo, does she know I'm looking at titty right yeah. now? Like, yeah, you <laughs> feel normal. Women got those outfits. What's those outfits, Taylor? Like, they be having those outfits the with the uh, side you said the boob. And no, under boob the shirt. side boob, under boob, Ooh, crazy. Side boob still fire. Side yeah. boob always side boob still hit. Still fire. Side boob, side boob and nice cleavage is definitely still fire. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. If a girl's just walking down the street, with her titties all out. It's like for for a second you'd be like, oh, titties, and after that, you know, put them shits away. Yo. You know what I look for with the cleavage? I look for it from a fashion perspective a lot of times because sometimes. Huh? Gay! <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. Some, sometimes no. with those dresses, and you see it a lot during New York Fashion Week, the way they have those plunging dresses. Yes. Like, they be looking fire when you Ross, got the right cleavage, yo. Yes. Huh? Bras aren't really being existent in the summertime. Wait a minute, you guys don't wear bras? It's not becoming like a thing. Like How often do you guys wash your bras and do they start to it's stink like, like your armpits? <laughs> <laughs> we kind of do it like how y'all wash your jeans. I don't oh, wash my that's jeans. Disgusting. We never wait, wash wait, jeans, wait, wait, yo. Wait, y'all never wash your jeans? I don't. I don't. No. You've never washed your jeans? I don't. You mess up the fit. Yeah. What? I might dry they, clean them every they now. They tell and you not to wash them. You go to a nice jean store, they're like, don't wash the jeans. You yeah. gotta work these in. Yeah, you gotta break them in a few times. So, Wait, what? What do you mean? What? How wash your bra, you yo. Gross. How many times have you worn those jeans? How many times have you washed your bra? Stop asking personal okay. questions. Yeah. So <laughs> we, I'm saying like, we don't wa- we don't have to wash it. If I'm sweating, I'm going to wash my bra. But if it was a regular day, I might wash it like the next, uh, maybe. Musky maybe. ass. Yeah, real talk. Yard. That's like underwear. 
Yeah, that it's is just it's, it's not. It's really not. It's yeah. two different things. But do you have do you like when you take your bra off? Is the guy you're hooking up with like goddamn? No. Now we know why because girls do put deodorant under their breasts. That's it. Right? You do under the deodorant. Under I've seen girls put deodorant under their breasts. Why? Because they breast get musky. Yeah. Oh well, mine's mine's is fine. I think when a titty is big <laughs> enough, it starts to have some stink underneath. It's like another <laughs> armpit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's true. When titties get big enough, they grow hair underneath as well. No, they don't. Yes, yeah, they, they do. do. No, they do. I they do. They and around the nipple. That's a fact. That's yeah. a fact. Hey, oh, definitely. Nipple hair pops out. Sometimes girls got nipple it's hair. It's nipple hair, but not yeah. under. You're saying. That's how you know where to suck in the dark. <laughs> And by the way, when the, <laughs> when the last time you looked under your, your breast, Taylor? You don't look under your breast. I shower, yes. But I you don't do. look under it. You can't you see. You have to do a breast check. I do a breast you check. Yeah, but you don't for hair. look under it. What you say? You what? ain't checking for hair. You're checking for cancer. There's no fucking hair But under sometimes my them breast. hairs, don't they pop through the broth. It's sheer. If you got it, 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 no, yo, it does come through like play doh. No, it does. If you wear one of them sexy bras, it's like uh, what is that called? How much hair have you seen on a nipple? None. Okay. Oh, that hair there though. So yeah, like, that hair there on that nipple, you just gotta. It's there, like it's there, and it's like a, it's like the north, south, east, west. Like it's like <laughs> it is. It's just a compass. <laughs> it does. It is. If you look at hair around a nipple, it's one going this way, one going that way, one going to the left, one going to the right. Look at it. I'm telling you, y'all don't pay attention to y'all bodies. Oh, <laughs> it's our fault. <laughs> it's our fault. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got, Taylor Gang? Uh, the Yo, man. Um. The Emmys happen? Yeah, the Emmys happen. Uh, salute to Quinta Brunson. Salute to Cheryl Lee Ralph. Salute to Zendaya. Gerard Carmichael won an Emmy. The Super Bowl <laughs> halftime show won an Emmy. Lizzo won an Emmy. Who didn't? Uh, <laughs> Who Ted, didn't? Ted Lasso yeah. won real big. Oh, wow. Um, and I, 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 I think what Jimmy Kimmel did was whack. What is it? What was the thing? It was a bit. And, and that's like, I, I want to know as a comedian, when do you know a bit has gone on too long? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if you saw the bit, Jimmy Kimmel got dragged out. Uh, they saying he was playing dead. He wasn't playing dead. If, if, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. the guy who dragged him out was saying how Jimmy was upset that he lost again, you know, uh, well, lost another Emmy. And so he got drunk. So he was supposed to be drunk. But my thing is, bro, get out the way. Yeah, let Quinta accept her award. Like, I don't care who I don't care who had won that award, whether it was Quinta or anybody else. Why you in they? Why you in they shot like that, bro? Well, why was he there? He was. One he of the held guys, the joke too long. But he was one of the people he giving. The, he was supposed yeah. to be a presenter. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he got dragged out. But at that point, the guy who dragged him out is supposed to drag him off to the side. Right. Or, oh, bro, just roll over. We know you on TV. We know you're not really drunk, Jimmy. Yeah, and then it takes away from her having like a a real. Moment. Yes, and now you're taking all his heat for no reason. Listen, man, I just think at a certain age. You should know what's going to cause you to take heat, <laughs> especially in yeah. this era. And they've yeah. tried to cancel Jimmy Kimmel a couple of times, right? He yeah. should know at this point, bro, get out the way of Quinta Brunson. Yeah. Like, why? Why? It's, it's hard for her to have, like, a serious emotional moment if you're down on the ground playing dead. Playing dead. Yeah. And, and that, you don't know what she's going to do in that moment. That's right. So don't do something that could potentially take away from it. And that's her first Emmy. Yeah. She can't get that back. Now, in a lot of the Emmy pictures, you're laying on the floor. Why does he hate black so much? Bro? No, <laughs> that's not true. Is that the point you're trying to that's make? True. Why is Jimmy Kimmel such a vile no, race? I don't think Jimmy. No, I don't. What think is that, that about? I, matter of fact, I I know he's not. You know what I mean? But really? I just don't, why? I don't. You're right, but I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. No, Jimmy Kimmel's not a vile racist. Um, yeah, I know. I was I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, but I just now, don't like that. I just don't like that you would be. Don't do that, man. Like, let people have their moment. Yes. Like, we live in this era where everybody's so busy looking for their moment that you're stepping on the moments of others. Because yeah. guess what? If Jimmy Kimmel wins an Emmy one day, which he may or may not, because he's probably going to retire soon. But if he yeah. does win one, he wouldn't want that to happen to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got to be that. He would not want somebody laying on stage. I got to step over you while, while I'm uh, accepting my award. Like, come on, Jimmy. You should know better than that. She's doing, I think she's doing a, She's doing his show on Wednesday night. We're taping this on Wednesday, so she's doing his oh, show tonight. Oh, she's doing. Yeah, she's oh, doing that's his good. Show so they're going to talk about it. They're going to talk about it, you know. And I, uh, and you know, I'm sure he'll apologize and everything else. But 
Even still, the moment is done, bro. Yeah. You know, the moment is done. The best apology is change behavior. But how many times are you going to get to lay? How many other times are you going to get to lay, uh, lay at the, not lay at the floor for Quinta Brunson's first Emmy? <laughs> yeah. It happened already. What was yeah. he mad about, though? Who? Jimmy, you said he was mad. I think he that. lost uh, best late night show for like yeah, the thirteenth, the thirteenth time. Yeah. So he was pretending to be drunk. They say he got drunk backstage because he was so upset about it. But yeah, I got to know part, to let things go. The part that's also lame is like I think he wanted a Will Smith moment. Like, he wanted an award show and something big to happen at an award show, and everybody's talking about that. Ah, uh, they talking about it just like Will. They talking about it. He's getting, but put it like this. I haven't seen nobody agree with what Kimmel did. There were people that actually agreed with what Will did. Yeah, yeah, Will had yeah, supporters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. people was like, that's how you protect black women. This thing. That's how you stand up for your wife. Will had supporters. Jimmy ain't got no supporters. Yeah. Yeah. What else we got, Taylor Gang? Go to my ad. Mm. Oh, you want to do an ad? Let's do some ads. What do we got Bobby. here? He's doing missionary for you right now. <laughs> he took Whoa. that I thing up. Whoa. Sabi too did that Whoa. thing. All right, Sabi, I see you. I Whoa. see you. I see you, Sabi. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he took that thing up, doggy. Make it roll. Uh, talk space, man. Salute to talk space. Got to thank Talkspace for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots podcast, man. You know how I get down. Uh, I am a staunch believer in people investing in their mental wealth. I'm a big advocate for therapy. And it's important to prioritize your mental health and wellness every day because when you work on yourself, you'll start to see and feel positive changes in all areas of your life. The long-term effects of therapy can give you the tools to deal with challenges as they arise, strengthen your relationships, and give you a more opti optimistic outlook on life, all right? There's no better time to invest in yourself than right now. You know what I always tell y'all? Invest in your mental wealth, man. You know, I love therapy. Uh, I got a therapy session uh, this Friday. You know, got some things that I want to download, got some things that I want to dump out. And, you know, uh, we always want somebody to talk to. A lot of times we turn to our friends, but our friends are not licensed therapists our family members are not licensed therapists they can listen but they can't give us some tools especially if you're yes. somebody who goes to cognitive behavioral therapy they can't give you some tools you know to help you really properly deal with whatever you're dealing with so getting started is the most important part that's why we want you to go to Talkspace there's no need to wait until something goes wrong in your life to work with a therapist of course Talkspace is also there to help with any specific challenges you might be facing it is the number one online therapy platform with thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialties including anxiety depression relationships and more your therapist can help you set and achieve your goals Talkspace is mental health care that meets you wherever you are it simplifies taking care of your therapy and psychiatry needs because it eliminates the need to commute to appointments. All right. Miss time at work or line up child care in order to attend sessions. So as a listener of the Brilliant Idiots podcast, you'll get a hundred dollars off your first month with Talkspace to match with a licensed therapist today. Go to Talkspace.com. Make sure to use the code idiots to get a hundred dollars off your first month and show your support for the show. That's idiots and Talkspace. Dot com. You want to do most and core shows? Guys, summer is full of official events like weddings, graduations, and annual 4th of July barbecues. But everyone knows the best parts of summer are the unofficial ones. Summer, Coors Light, the official beer of everything unofficial, celebrating those moments that make summer truly chill. Okay, the weekend is officially Saturday and Sunday. Unofficially, it's Friday afternoon, too. Summer is officially the warmest time of year. Unofficially, it's the chillest. I'm telling you, nothing is better than a cool course light on a hot summer or even coming into fall day. Global warming is extending that summer, so we're going to need more time to chill, and Coors Light is providing it. There's only one beer out there that's really made to chill, and that's Coors Light. The mountains on the bottles and the cans even turn blue when your beer is cold. That way, you always know when it's time for you to chill. When you need to hit the reset, just open a Coors Light. It's mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Coors Light is a cold lagered, cold filtered, and cold packaged beer okay it's literally made to chill it is crisp and refreshing as the colorado rockies perfect for a moment to unwind so summer chill starts with coors light and to check out what coors light has been going on this summer visit coors light uh, summer.com coors light celebrate responsibly coors brewing company golden colorado now let's get back to the show uh church announcement shows what we got man Check out Flagrant, man. We got some cool uh, episodes uh, coming up that I'm very excited about. I don't want to give away too much, but uh, we got some some very cool things happening 
uh, in the near future. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, for me, it's the Mental Wealth Expo, October the 8th. October the 8th, the Mental Wealth Expo at the Marriott Marquis Times Square. All you got to do is go to mentalwealthexpo.com uh, to register to be there. It's a free event. Uh, we have great people like Nadra Tawab Glover, the author of Set Boundaries, Fine Peace, New York Times bestseller, love her. We have Dr. Alfie Breland Noble. We have Dr. Spirit. We got Dr. Rita Walker. We got my man Wallow from the Million Dollars Worth of yes. Game podcast. Uh, him and my guy Shaka Sankor having a conversation together about the impact of the prison system on your mental health. We got the great Pastor Torrey Roberts and the great Sarah Jakes Roberts doing the keynote speech, man. And we got a lot of other people that we will be announcing. Rhapsody is going to be there. We got a, a really dope mental health hip hop panel that we're putting together. Um, and, and Rhapsody is on that panel. Uh, who else is going to be there? Anthony Hamilton. A lot of different people, man. We got mental health professionals. We got, you know, mental health advocates. So join us. It's my second annual Mental Health Expo, Mental Wealth Expo. Just go to mentalwealthexpo.com, free event, uh, register to enter, and you can be there. And make sure you check out Hell of a Week this Thursday at 11.30 p.m. on Comedy Central, right after The Daily Show. Uh, this week we have Angela Rye on, Roy Woods Jr., and Malcolm Gladwell. Hey. And um, got the word this week that we just got uh, extended for some for some episodes. So. Oh, sick. Yeah, so they'll be announcing that soon, but um, so it's gonna continue. It's gonna continue, continue, continue. I mean, that's what you want with a, with a late night show. With a late night show, you want those like thirty, forty week orders. Yeah, you know, so that gets you through the year. So um, I think for this this one, with the new order, we got like eighteen. So we'll be on until the end of the year. Amazing, you know. So. Yes, thank you to everybody that's been watching. Thank you to everybody that's been uh, that's been watching live on Comedy Central right after the Daily Show, but also screaming on Paramount Plus. Screaming on Paramount Plus is very, very, very important. So yeah. you know, uh, thank you. Now let's get back to the show. Um, sad news, extremely sad news. Sabi, now's not the time. I'm about to get deep. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, it's really adorable, man. You got a little partner, bro. Uh, rest in peace to PNB Rock. Oh, dude, it feels like you know every several months we're talking about the death of somebody in rap. You know, uh, at the hands of guns. Um, yeah. I don't know why these situations don't garner the coverage that all gun violence should garner. And I think a lot of that has to do with us. And what I mean by us is, I think sometimes when these situations happen, we get so busy talking about the topic that we don't discuss the issue. Yeah. You know, the topic is, oh, his girlfriend posted their location. I, I, I thought that was so unfair. It's so stupid. So yeah. stupid and so unfair. But yeah, I think that we focus on the topic yeah. Instead of the issue. Yeah. You know, um, the issue, we're looking for someone to blame. Maybe we're looking we for somebody to blame. To like, but you know, yeah. the, the, this situation shows all these situations always show me things, but it, one thing that it showed me is that how connected we are to the internet. We're so connected to the internet and we think everything starts with social media that we think this woman posting their location right. is what got this man killed. They're probably plotting on him for a while, man. Yo, Schultz, how about he was just at a location? Yeah. Does people, do people forget that? Do what do you people, mean? What do you mean? He, he walked into a place. There were people there. Oh, exactly. <laughs> there were like, workers. There key, were people eating. If I, you know, I don't want to... You never know who's also eating there. You know who's also working there that might sense some yes, things. Yes, easily. Like, yo, this guy's in here right now with a whole bunch of jewelry on. He got a Rolex on and everything. Like, why do we think everything derives from social media? Are we forgetting the actual yeah. human bodies yeah. that were probably sitting in this restaurant? Like, yeah. this could have came from anywhere. Because we're acting like we don't know, not just L.A., but the whole country is a hot spot. But L.A. really is a hot spot. And we're watching so many people get robbed in L.A. It ain't even yeah. just celebrities. Like, people are getting robbed yeah. at lunch and brunches for their watches and everything else. Yeah. Why couldn't this have been somebody in the restaurant? Why do y'all just automatically jump to his 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 girl posted the location? That's what got him. Got. Think about how sad his girl is, right? I think that's his... I think she they have a kid together, right? Dang. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, she's not incentivized at all to put him in danger because right. 
who's going to be taking care of her and the kids. That's right. It, was he affiliated? Like, what was he in a gang himself? I don't know that much about PMB Rock. I have no idea. I don't think he had nothing to do with a gang. I think that we, 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 we're we acting like... Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think it had nothing to do with a gang. I think this we're acting like there's not all these socioeconomic factors that are leading people to do these type of things nowadays, man. Like, I, I read a study this morning. I think they said two-thirds of Americans can't even... Uh, afford their basic everyday needs like basic shit food yeah that's not why transportation you're, that's not why you're robbing rent you would you'd rob some cereal from a grocery store if that was your issue you, but, you robbing jewelry you robbing diamonds you don't actually oh no i'm not saying flex. that the, i'm not saying that the person who did that did that for those reasons but the person clearly needed money or wanted money i don't think those people need the rob like big jewelry like that i don't think those people are hurting for money I don't know, so no. I think those people I commit know, crime so. for a living, and that's their life. That's their, that's li their livelihood. Yeah, but so it, it, it's not like they're desperate, and this is the only way out. If you're desperate, the only way out, you could literally rob a grocery store for the food that you need. You don't have to kill somebody. There's so many different things to talk about when it comes to this conversation. I agree with you. Uh, I don't. I don't know how starving this person was, but to me, this it, it's, it's always an act of desperation when somebody robs somebody like this. Because this is like to, to throw your life away over a damn chain and a watch. Mm -hmm. To say, I'm going to go up in this Roscoe. It's a Roscoe's. It's not like you snuck up on the dude in a dark alley yeah. somewhere. You walked into a restaurant in broad daylight and robbed this guy of his jewelry. I just feel like we dismiss how awful a decision it was from this person. We reduce how... <laughs> Open that door. I want to see if he really bought that action. No, he's not. To... He's not. <laughs> <laughs> he's not at all. No, but I, I think we, we like reduce how horrible this person's actions are when we go, oh, there's all these socioeconomic factors that led him to do these things. It's like at a certain point, there are different ways. If you're if you're starving, there's different ways to get food. Mm -hmm. He didn't steal food off his neck. He could have went into a restaurant. No, that restaur is food, though, because it's going to translate to money. He's at a restaurant. Steal from the restaurant. You're, if you're hungry. Yeah, but if you're going to take, if you're gonna, if, exactly, if you're gonna take the risk of committing a crime, you go for something big. So Well, there's a difference between grand larceny and like petty theft. Petty theft, you're going to be in and out. Matter of fact, you can walk into a CVS right now in California. We've seen all these videos. Yeah. And you can steal shit. They won't even prosecute you. So if this is really about food, there's other ways to get food. This is about greed. This is about... Jealousy jealousy but all of that plays a part right and this i'm not i'm, I'm not disagreeing with you because i've heard people say that but when i have these conversations i'm not justifying what the guy did i'm just it's an understanding right in order in order to properly defend against an offense you must understand that offense yeah. so you really do need to understand what other people are going through and this is the other thing right god bless pnb rock this is the conversation we've been having all week in a perfect world yeah you should be able to wear your jewelry anywhere you want to in a perfect world, you should be able to drive your big luxury car anywhere you want to. This is not a perfect world. Mm -hmm. And the first law of nature is self-preservation. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to self-preservation, we have to keep ourselves out of harm's way. Going to that Roscoe's mm -hmm. in South Central Los Angeles, that just wasn't a good idea to do with all your jewelry on. It just so, wasn't. Yeah. So so, so, so if, you, if you're going to say that you, we, we, we like to have these conversations based off how we want things to be. Yeah. We got to have these conversations based off how things are. Yeah. That's what's going to keep us safe. Mm. That's what's going to keep us protected. Yeah. And that's what's going to help us get to a proper solution on how we potentially slow some of this shit down. I, I think you're right. That, yeah, I think you're right. I just don't want to dismiss the actions like this guy had like no other choice. Like I, I, I hate when people do that. They had no other option but to rob the diamonds and jewelry on the guy's neck. It's like no, what, yeah, what, it what? kills it. Like there are there are a million different things that you could do before you do that. Schultz, you're absolutely right. But here's the thing: that person didn't feel like that, and that's what's scary. Mm. What's scary is when these people feel like they don't have those opportunities. When these mm. people feel like they don't have those other options. When these people feel like that is the only way they know. So when we talk about socioeconomic factors, one of them is lack of education. Mm. That's a lack of education. We, when we, we hear the word education and we think education just automatically means degrees and, you know, yeah. you went to college. You know, no, sometimes you just don't have the information to what else is out there. Mm -hmm. You know I what think, I mean? I, I don't know. I don't subscribe to that. I think that, like, people know, look, they know there's other things out there because they walked into that Roscoe's and they saw that there are waiters working there. They saw there was dishwashers working. They saw there's other people working. So she didn't fire you on the ground. It, it ain't. 
But now we're talking about the real shit, that's which it. is I want to flex. <laughs> that's right. I want to yes. look cool. I that's want to be right. a hustler. I want to be a baller. And I don't want right. to be a square and have a regular job. That's right. And that's a completely different thing. And that's why I just don't want, I don't want to like, what was the word they used before? Uh, justification. I don't want to justify the action by oh, like. Oh, I'm not justifying it at all. Because they are aware. They're not ignorant to the fact that their people work. I, I bet their parents have jobs. I bet their cousins have jobs. I bet their brothers and sisters have jobs. They're choosing to not and do this other thing. And there are many other fucked up factors in their life that have led them that way. I don't think anybody's born and goes, I'm going to fucking rob and kill people. I think there's fucked up situations that they're probably grown up Bro, in. Mental health issues, that. drugs, even if even if it's not poverty. Tough, tough environment at tough home. Tough environment like, at home. 100%. Like, yes, yeah, it's a lot of different things that I'm make people violent. I'm not what they went through to get there. But I don't want to act like they don't know that there are other opportunities to make a living out there. Every single day when they order a fucking Uber, they go to a grocery store, they go get their fucking laundry done. They know that there are other jobs yeah. that they can do and they're choosing not to do those things. And you're, you're right. And you know what them people will tell us? Well, why the fuck you ain't working, working at Roscoe's? Well, we did. Like, I worked we did. at Roscoe's I, I agree. Me for too. years before right. I was able to do this. And I grinded Start my up. fucking ass off for years. Bro, I, yeah, it is kind of crazy. No, you I, did I, every job I under the sun before. Including selling crack. I did everything. <laughs> yeah, Taco you, did, you did the wild shit. Yeah. And it's, you went back to the legit shit. Yeah, it's just like, I'd rather you start a podcast for you, Rob, bro. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And tell us about all the old robberies. Yes. You know what I mean? Like that's like, fire. I would love that. I would love everybody. Yes. Start podcast. War and, stories. And, and then <laughs> after you, after hundred episodes, we lock you up. <laughs> <laughs> after hundred episodes, yeah. you gotta go pay for this entertainment that you've been giving. Us. Wow. <laughs> okay. Then they're Stop. gonna start using <laughs> podcast lyrics in court. Yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> Dude, what if what if wait, what if we call the the podcast Statute of Lim Limitations? And the second the Statute of Limitations of all your crimes is up. You just start spitting. You start spitting. Man, that, Talk yeah. about all of it. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's, 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 it's really sad, man. You know what I mean? Um, because, you know, <laughs> I just I just want us to be smarter on all levels. Yeah. To your point, yeah. yes, man, find something else to do, my brothers. That we don't want nobody committing crimes. There is a lot of different things that you can do. And if you don't know what, they, what to do, reach out to somebody. Yes. There's a big homie in your hood that's doing good now yes. that can get you on the righteous path. That's number one. But number two, man, when you worth something, bro, you got to act like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if you want to go to the hood and, you know, have a meal, where is your security? Yo, I, I, I don't know. It feels like this is... I don't know. It feels like this is too often happening to like New York dudes who go to LA and think it's vacation. It's yeah, like, man. LA ain't fucking palm trees and no, beaches, bro. Man. It's real as hell out no, there. Man. And especially if you go into certain areas, That's you right. gotta be on your P's and Q's. And again, I'm not saying that this is his fault for not knowing that, but like Stop looking at them fucking houses in the hills and thinking that's all LA is. Yeah. It is wild out there, bro. Yeah. Me and Envy had this discussion and Envy was saying how like a lot of people can't afford security. So my thing is, man, if you can't afford to protect it, you shouldn't, you can't afford to wear it. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you can't afford to protect it, you can't afford to have it. Wow. Because if you're in certain environments, you just got to be on guard. Yeah, you fast. know, you know what other people are thinking. Why Yo, you don't have fast. a security guard with you? Like, yeah, you, that's, you, you have to. Like, yeah, that's I, facts. Man. I saw my man, Jack Boy. I don't know Jack Boy personally. I just find him highly entertaining. But Jack Boy, was, he was on Instagram and he was like, you know, sometimes I go out with a little bay, you know what I'm saying? I post up six, seven dudes, a little seven hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? They post it up in the spot with me, security, you know what I'm saying? Cause I already know what it is. And it's like he's right. Yeah. E forty told me a long, long, long time ago, when you worth something, act like it. And don't make it easy for people. And... Straight like that. And what bothers me the most about that is we were the culture that literally bragged about being in the hood with all my jewelry on. I'm in the hood with all my jewelry on, no security. You know what I mean? I'm in the hood with my phantom, no security, this and that. Yeah, yeah. That shit has gotten so many people killed. Yeah, mm -hmm. fuck all that. That logic, that mentality has gotten so many people fuck robbed, hurt, killed. That's why I like this new generation. New generation, like, hell no, I ain't, I'm out with my security. And I ain't security. talking about homeboys. Or I got nothing on. Oh, you got nothing on? J. Cole walk around wherever the fuck he wants to walk around. That's right. What That's they right. gonna get from him? A city bike. <laughs> that's all you're gonna get if you run down on J. Cole is a city bike. Okay. No, that's true. And it's an interesting thing. It's like same thing with like Adam Sandler. Like Adam Sandler probably walk around wherever. Because yeah, yeah, he's gonna yeah. be in some old basketball shorts and a fucking t shirt. That's right. He got nothing that you can rob from him. This uh man, it's 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 actually unbelievable. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry it has to be this way. Mm. But it is. This mm. shit is really a jungle. Mm -hmm. And you know when you go into the jungle yeah. with, with certain things. Yeah, you're not justifying it. But you are saying what is a reality? I get it. It's the reality. Yeah, yeah, like, yo, yeah, we got to yeah. deal with reality. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if we if we literally sit around and deal with this from a perspective of 
well, it shouldn't be like this. You shouldn't rob me because I'm your yeah. brother and I should be able to wear what I want. I work hard. Well, that's that, is nice. a, that is a defeatist mentality. That is nice. Yeah. Like you're done. Yeah. yeah that's the, you would love that. Yeah. That's not the reality. Yeah. But I bet you when you go, when you go like overseas, certain places. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you're in Italy in certain places, you got your you shit gotta on. watch. Because everybody out, you see. But everybody also tells me like, yo, when, when I was in Naples, they were like, be careful in Naples. I'll go, what you mean? He goes, yo, Naples is like, it, it goes down out yeah, there, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Sicily and Naples is the mafia. So yeah. people are looking for a lick. And if you got the watch, they might come up on you and try to grab it. That's right. So That's it, right. it was one of those things where I got to be aware. And if somebody told me, and I'm still taking that information and choosing to ignore it, yeah, and be, then I get robbed, who's who's the idiot? That's right. Being defiant. I'm, 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 I, can, I can wear my And for what? Anywhere. I'm, I'm with my wife. Mm -hmm. I, already, I already tricked her. <laughs> what? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, also, you, ain't got, you ain't got to impress nobody. Yeah, I'm on vacation. I don't need to know the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't got nowhere to be. I don't have no meetings to be at. So, do you guys do a check in? What's that mean? Um, like I check in, in with street? a gang? Like yeah, when you go that's across? That's what Steven Jackson just said. He goes, I check in everywhere I go. I want to come home to my family. I mean, I mean, if like you go like, into the hood and that's yeah, part not, of it, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in I'm, those environments in to hood. check in. No, this, yeah. I, I'm not in those environments to check in. Okay. Like, I'm not in that, I'm not in those circles to check. I'm not doing that. Like, when I'm in places like LA, I'm going there for work. Like, I'll be that's in LA. It. I check in with the alphabet. What's mm -hmm. that? The L. The LGBT. LGBT. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be in LA in October. Cause I'm uh, receiving a Living Legends Award, right? Hey. And um, so they got a whole ceremony. But I'm going, I'm going to the, uh, the security. Going to meet me at the airport. Exactly. I'm gonna go to the hotel. Yes. When it's time for the event, I'm gonna go to the event, and I'm getting my ass out of LA. Like yes. I'm not in the clubs. I'm not going to somebody's hood. Yeah. You know, to be in the studio. I'm not going to take pictures in front of no murals. Like I, don't, why, who am I checking in with? Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like. I, I, I just think check, checking me. in is for checking in is for people who run in certain circles. That's but what also, if you were going to go to a certain area, like we've even even when we were hanging out in L.A., like we would go to certain places and we would go with people who were very welcome there in certain places. Where we go? Tell me. I forgot. I mean, when we were in L.A., we were hanging out with uh, what's the girl's name? Oh, 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 big OG. Big OG. Big homie. Big homie. Big Riri. <laughs> no, no, not big Riri. Not Rihanna? No, the girl who's. Uh, oh, <laughs> No, no. Ooh. The girl who's like, I don't know if her her brother is somebody or something, maybe Suge's niece. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, mark, yeah. Mark that me. out. Mark that out. Nah, you can mark salute to yeah. me. But I'm, what I'm saying we is like. We check in, though. I mean, we, we're not checking in, but we're going with somebody who's welcome. Hey, we didn't really go in the way. We went to Roscoe's. I don't even remember, I don't remember what Roscoe's we went to. Roscoe's, Are you serious? <laughs> it wasn't that Roscoe's. No, that <laughs> Roscoe's, that, that, oh, that Roscoe's in South Central different than the one. We was guys, at the Taurus one. Crazy. We was at like Gower and Ho Hollywood and Gower or something like that. Uh, uh, sunset. What's up? It's happening everywhere. By the way, no, bro, not you, like, no, no. This one is different. You that, haven't seen like, the I know, motherfuckers getting robbed while they're oh, eating oh, brunch? 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. They have it in New York. Yeah. 100%. I don't even like eating at restaurants. Period. Anywhere. I feel like you were sitting up. <laughs> Here we go. What? I do. I don't yeah. feel, I don't like eating at any restaurant anywhere. Like I was supposed to have a brunch meeting today. I'm like, why am I just sitting out in the middle of New York? Like, mm -hmm. yo, the last time I did that shit, we were sitting outside. It was me, Jesus, Tommy, Bomani. I forgot who else was there. We're sitting outside the restaurant. I felt so unsafe. Really? And I had my security right there. But I'm like, why are we sitting outside? Uh, I don't like, like, I don't like, I don't like that shit, yo. I don't like well, it. They're getting backlash to the Roscoe because they opened... Maybe hours later. No, they open the next day, but yeah. what are they supposed to do? What, yeah, what are they supposed to do? I, they I sell they chicken and waffles, so. though, Like, it's not their fault. Yeah. Yeah, what are they supposed to do? You They're clean up. You they clean up. Keep that's right. Money. That's right. You clean up and you keep going. Like, I mean, I hate this. That, but by the way, that right there, that's, the, that's a small microcosm of how the world works. Exactly. People just want The world, it. that's right. The world going to keep turning. Yeah. Period. Like, sadly, that's what the world is going to keep doing. We, we, we go today, things are going to be right back to business tomorrow. Only thing that's, just, that's not going to be back to business for is your family. Mm. Your family and, you know, some close friends will be like, damn, but even your close friends going to be at work. Mm. They got to they get right back to it. Yeah. That shit is sad, man. I feel sorry for that brother. You know, I uh, hate to see anybody have to d deal with that fate. But man, it's a lot of different lessons uh, to be learned here. And, you know, the number one lesson that I'm telling everybody is like, stop thinking, stop operating based on how you think things should be. 
Yeah. Start operating based on how things actually are. Yeah. Okay. Self preservation is key. You know, some situations we shouldn't just we shouldn't put ourselves in. That's all. That's that's all I'm saying. Yeah, man. You know, what else we got, Taylor Gang? The purge. What is the purge? That the shit purge. is fake. That shit ain't even real, yo. Like, you, you know what's so that? fucked up about this? This is another example of social media. Illinois passed this law called the safety law, and they actually passed it in January of 2021. If anybody looks at this bill, this is actually a a really good police reform bill. It's a really good police reform bill. But being that it's an election year, you got people on the geo, you got people on the side of the right who are saying that this one part of the bill, which is the no uh no cash bail, right, for certain crimes, is basically a get out of jail free card. No cash bail. Yeah. Why? Why would that be get out of jail free? Because for certain offenses, like all right, like right now. Oh, see. no cash bail needed. No cash bail needed. Yes, got yes, you, yes, got yes, you. yes. Okay. No cash bail needed for certain offenses. Certain offenses, you just get an appearance ticket, right? And the crimes include second degree murder, aggravated battery, arson, drug induced homicide, kidnapping, robbery. Uh, what's that? Intimidation, aggravated DUI, Wait, aggravated homicide? fleeing. You don't need drug offenses, drug induced homicide. But here's the thing. That's all trichnology because the reality is it's up to the judge and the prosecutor. Trichnology. What does that mean? It's when it, they're, they're, whoever threw that out there did this on purpose on social media to get everybody talking because they're really against the police reform bill. If uh, you look at all the things that's in the police reform bill, you're like, oh, shit, there's some really good provisions in here. Like police officers have to get uh, mental health evaluations uh, every few months. Police officers got to wear body cameras. Like there's going to be accountability when, you know, there's these police brutality cases. Like it's a really good bill. The Safety Act. The GOP doesn't like that. So they're making it seem like it's this purge law okay. that's letting everybody out of jail free. Y'all do know Jersey has that same thing, right? So basically, they're trying to, like, taint the entire bill. Yes. A yes. misinterpretation. They have that here in New York, too. They got it in New York. Yeah. They got it in New Jersey. New Jersey has it in the whole state. I think New York City has got it. I don't think the whole state of New York has it. I'm not sure. But yeah, I know no, New York City months. has it. Yeah, yeah. New York City has it, and the whole state of New Jersey has it. It's up to the judge's discretion. Like, if you killed you know, two people and go in front of the judge, the judge not going to just say, here's a death ticket, you know, uh, you come back. So and this is how you kill a bill? Yes. Or this is how you... Well, it's passed already. Right, right, it right. It passed in January of last year. Right, right. And, and prosecutors, um, prosecutors have to defend, prosecutors have to tell the judge why this person should still be in jail. So it's not like they're just letting people out all, all willy-nilly. It's not what people... Uh, what people think. So then what do they want? They just want people to be upset that a, at a bill that's already passed? It's a midterm uh, election year. Look what the Democrats are doing. Yes. <laughs> the Democrats are letting everybody out of jail free. These people are killing you and they're yeah. letting them out. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a midterm election year. So you want to see so much shit over the next 56 days? I think oh, 55 yeah. now. Mm. Do you think Trump's running again? Uh, I don't think so. No. I think I think unless he lets his ego get the best of him, I don't think so. So it's DeSantis, DeSantis, I, I Tim Scott. I think, think Trump runs, runs again. Yeah. I don't I, think Hillary so. Clinton I think he has. No oh, God, no. he has too many people on his back right now. Where if he runs, then they're gonna have to like pause some of the. Um, Yo, Alex, ain't nothing happening to Teflon Don. Yeah, but and I was the guy who was saying he was going to jail. When he was in, I was like, when he gets out of office, he's getting locked up. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even know how to punish somebody like Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. right. Donald Trump has given them more than enough already. <laughs> and the walls are closing in. No, they're not. They got We've been saying that for four years, yo. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's fighting it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Alex. The walls have been built. <laughs> the walls are there. The walls are in there. Trump just not in there. <laughs> Those walls are for him, but he's not in there. He's looking at them from the outside. Also, it looks bad to arrest your president. Like not if they committed crimes, like not if they really just agreed your shit. What I'm saying is like as like if this is like a third world country that's like rife with corruption, hey, you arrest the president, you make an example. We're talking about the leader of the free world. It does not look good if the leader of the free world's president goes to prison. So America got to stop the shit when they say uh, no, uh, nobody's above the law. because That's bullshit. I agree with you. Yeah. What I'm saying is for optics. This is not the ideal scenario. Depends, for Depends, though. Depends what he's been doing. Right. Like, if, they, if it's really true that, you know, he got these nuclear codes tucked away, other countries looking at y'all like, y'all not going to punish that? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I so it depends on the offense. I don't know. I don't even think that, I don't know, the code shit. It's like everything you told me comes with me, bro. 
It comes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me nothing. Now. You better hit me with that fucking men in black shit. Yeah, hit me with the men in disappear. black. But like, if if you're gonna tell me some shit and then be upset that I remembered it or took yeah. it to my next spot. Also, I'm not doing my own packing. So if you don't want me to have something, take it out of here before I leave with it. I'm not going to lie, though. This, this is my personal so, opinion. I don't understand. This, this so ain't his stupid. fault, bro. Like, if so, if I take some shit from an old apartment that I shouldn't have to my new apartment, that's my fault? It's not. It's so a false that's, com- that's completely different. Very false equivalent. If it's the most fire piece of furniture. <laughs> <laughs> like, you wouldn't want to keep all them secrets? I'll tell you this. Um, That picture looked fake as fuck. What's that? A picture of the top secret shit that they found in, uh, my, in Magalago. Yeah. Was well, a top secret. That shit don't look real, yeah, bro. I'm like, there's yeah. no way. Get out there's of no here. way. Like, you can pull up the picture. Yeah, it does. You look, see, but it looks I'm like, there's no way. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, I know Trump might not be the brightest guy, but it ain't it. That is wild. Like, he wasn't that wild. Is he that wild? Maybe. I mean, Taylor, pull that up. Put, put up Margalago picture. Of the, like that shit. Did, I'm like. This ain't real, bro. Like, no. you just had the shit laying out on the table that say top secret everywhere. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Come but on, he fine. is wild for leaving with boxes and boxes and boxes of fucking But boxes. it's my shit. No, it's not. If I know if it already. say top secret on it, it's but not I, your shit. But if I know it already. It don't matter. So either memorize that shit or leave it. That's it. But I'm allowed to know it. I just got to forget it. Yes. you got to. Me- you, if you want to memorize it, that's cool. But you're still not even supposed to be telling other people. It's still supposed to be top secret. But if you have all these things sitting around in a room and then everybody's accessing that room, now it's not lo- okay, no longer so then top secret. That's what they should say. They that's should what like, they're saying. That's the problem. They should say anybody can access the room. That's what they're saying. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. But it made it look like he left with top secret documents. I mean, it's that's like, that's my wrong. documents, nah, bro. Look at wrong. this shit, man. <laughs> Don't print some shit out, put my name on it, and be upset if I take it. That shit look fake. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Update the carpet. The carpet <laughs> old as hell. I'm just like, man, there's no way he had all this shit laying out like that and it just said top secret across Yo, the front. Yo, look at, he's a fucking, no. look at, he's a G. Look at the but, Time Magazine. He got mad copies of him in Time Magazine, right? <laughs> this guy's on. a real one, bro. Is this how the FBI <laughs> collected it or was it laid out uh, like this? He, oh, he laid, they you laid don't it think out. That you know, he like, laid it out. Look at, he got the Time <laughs> Magazine, bro. He got his own shit framed. I saw that. I don't believe in America in 2022 or whenever the fuck Trump was in office, 2016, whatever. They still print papers like this? I don't believe that they would have top secret papers with top secret just written across (laughs) the front. I just don't believe that. I I, I, I mean, it has to say top secret. If it does, I'm going to read it. (laughs) Yes, he's supposed to. He's allowed to. He's allowed to read it. You got to put something on it that's going to make people not read it. Like, my wife's dreams. Word up. Yes. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is yes. what happened in my wife's sleep. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> list of dreams my wife had last night. Nobody flipping that paper. You put top secret in red? Everybody got to see it, bro. Like, that should look like a trap. Yeah, that's like if, I walk, if I walk in the office and I should say top secret, I'm be like, I ain't touching that shit. That's a setup. Ain't no way in hell. I'm opening it, and the first page should be like, "Motherfucker, I said top secret." Top secret. <laughs> that's just the second page. And we live in a world where everything can look discreet. Like that's the whole point of like they make like uh shit that isn't shit, so it don't look like the shit. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> you dude. know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't. Nobody knows what you're saying, bro. I don't even know what the fuck just happened. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just <laughs> happened right there. They make shit that you doesn't... You stumbling out the gate. They make shit that doesn't look like the shit, so you don't know it's the shit. So if I'm trying to hide something... Yeah. Like, uh, what's the shit? Uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> <laughs> what, y'all know what I'm talking about. No, so no, you have bro. like the... Uh, it'll be like a case, but it'll be like a case for something else, but it's really something else inside the case. A hollow book. There you go, sure. I couldn't think of no example. It's like the hollow book, right? You have a book in the like book. a Bible. Yes. That got and when you open the book, it's like, there you yes. go. But you have to do that when that book is out in public. But when you're the president and you have access to these documents, all you need to tell the president is that, hey, these documents That's, are top secret. No, the hollow book is the best way to hide something. I could literally have 10 racks in a book. Somebody break in my house. I bet you they wouldn't look yeah, at yeah, yeah. that. Let's be again, honest. Your house. You're not going you're not going to keep your top secret documents. Bro. That's his house. Yo, you're not good. You get, I give you top secret documents, bro. And I, I mean, give them to you, and but, it's got your name on it. It says Alex Media's top secret documents. But that's why you're not going to move with that. I would take all that. Thank shit. you. All right. But I still get in trouble for the shit, though. I, hey, listen, don't tell me nothing, bro. I'm going to go day one when I'm at the White House. I go day one. I go, don't tell me shit. Because I'm telling everybody. <laughs> hey, I, don't I tell me one rumor. I'm up, telling everybody. Up, how, how I go from 
the executive producer of Celebrity Apprentice, you bringing me in the White House, and now you telling me about UFOs and all this top secret I'm telling shit. everybody. My dinner conversation's about to be so fire. Fire. Are you serious? Fire. You fucking with me at the dinner table? I'm FaceTime immediately. Yo, you're not going to believe who killed Kennedy, this bro. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. This shit is wild. Come on, yes. man. Come on, man. Yes. Bug the whole White House. I'm not even going to feel bad about it. You shouldn't have put me here, dummy. You should not have put me here. That's what y'all get. <laughs> That's what y'all get for not having Dumb no checks and balances. That's it. And, and no standard Come to on, be president. Bro. There's ass. no qualifications to be I'll president. I start the combo. Yo, what up, FBI? Anyway, yo, Alex. The <laughs> 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 hey, y'all listening? Hey, he's about to get juicy, my Who's boy. Get with the me? whole office oh, in oh, on this who, one. Who fuck? Y'all ain't y'all ain't gonna leak these conversations. Yeah, exactly. Y'all ain't leaking I these combos. You. I dare I you, dare bro. You. Y'all ain't leaking these combos. Yo, real talk. He wasn't born in America. No, no, no. He's really Muslim. He's really Muslim. Stop, he's stop, he's really Muslim. They knew it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> 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 yes. First day in the White House. Let's go, dude. Oh, man. Let's pay some bills, man. All right. What we got? What we, we got? got? Squarespace. Let's do it. I got you. Hold on. Guys. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. I'm telling you, if you do not have a place on the web, you do not have a real business, my friends. You need that establishment in the digital world. You need people to know you're real and the way that they know you're real is if you exist in the fake, which is the internet. Squarespace is going to make it easy for the creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. They have member areas so you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. You can collect the email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every send. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are the most effective. So, you can improve your website and build a marketing uh, strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Right now, if you head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot, you're going to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with the offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. Taylor gang. Do some asking idiots? Yeah, let's do some asking idiots, mate. Let's do some masking idiots, man. I ain't no joy. Instagram was bad, bussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, who the fuck tagged me named Bad Bussy? Bad Bussy? Bad Bussy, nigga. Pop that bussy for a goon. <laughs> what we got, Taylor? Let's do some asking idiots. Salute to Simba, too, man. Uh, Simba's project, uh, Results Take Time, will be out this Friday. Man, I love Simba. Simba's one of the most phenomenal lyricists doing it today. Okay, Simba and LaRussell. Symbol of Russell and Rhapsody, man. Lord have mercy. I love them. Those are three people I want to hear on a, a a record. I hate people who say things like, you know, hip-hop is dead in 2022. Who says that? And if people act like, you know, just because the hip-hop they grew up on isn't around no more, that the whole genre is like, yo, it's so much dope-ass shit. Yeah. This, this, this year alone, you had Earth Gang Project, Kodak Black Project. Kodak is the fucking man, goat, man. Kodak is a, Kodak is a star. It's only a matter. And, and Kodak, Kodak, he's already a star, but it's, Kodak gonna have a real big moment real soon. What do you think? I just, I just see it. I just see it coming. It's just for bubbling, him. right? It's bubbling. It's, yeah. it's only a matter of time. Um, yeah. Jid, Jid's album is fire. Um, damn, who else I really fucking like this year? I wrote this. Oh, Kendrick Lamar's album is great. Pusha T's album is great. It's almost dry. Joey Badass album. 2000 is great. Like, it's some really dope-ass hip-hop out, man. It's been some dope hip-hop dropping all year long, so I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about when y'all be saying that uh, hip-hop ain't ain't what it used to be or hip-hop ain't... Hip-hop is dead. I don't know what the fuck y'all be talking about. It's some dope-ass music out. Um, okay. What do we have? What is that first one, Taylor? From pre PT Mac 333? Mm -hmm. How do y'all think the masses should separate opinion from fact? Ugh. The fact that 
that question is being asked lets me know how far gone we are. Hmm. Like the fact that there's a there's we should already know what the difference is between an opinion and a fact. <laughs> Nobody knows that anymore because everybody thinks they speak in facts. Mm. You know what fucked it up? The slang. Ooh. <laughs> facts. But I if I agree with you, facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ninety five percent of the shit we say ain't a fact. It's all opinion. <laughs> We're an opinion based society. That's why CNN's trying to get back to reporting facts. But what are facts? In 2022, every I don't even know what that means and anymore. what if your listeners don't want facts? What if your viewers don't want facts? What if they just want their opinions uh, confirmed? What if your hosts don't know no facts? That's Then you have a great show. What if they've created a whole <laughs> show for nine years called The Brilliant Idiots? But at least we're it, honest about we're it. We're honest about not knowing shit. Yeah, that's all you got to do, and it's still entertaining. We just, we just up here throwing ideas out and discussing things. We're not saying what we... You know, saying is right or correct. Yeah. You know, it's just just our thoughts, just what we feeling at the time. You There's uh, I mean? talking about facts. Well, this is <laughs> this is good. Uh, is zodiacs the new racism or zodiacism? Yo, it is interesting. What the like, fuck? you could completely <laughs> judge another human being based on something that was out of their control, which is the month they're born in, right? They that it. how they could control it. A baby in the stomach could decide if they want to come out or not. And what is you talking about, Taylor? <laughs> what is you talking so, about? So, you never heard where like. Oh God! This is this is an opinion, y'all. <laughs> oh, just, just in case anybody out there is wondering, <laughs> this is an opinion from you Taylor Hayes. You don't think such that, a tourist right you, now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bullheaded. Yeah. Oh, thank you for remembering. I know. Um, on, you don't think that like when you were born, you were never were you born early or late? I was born on time. I was <laughs> I was in the studio for were nine you born months. Early or late? Like I'm just I saying. Dropped that out. I'm just saying, I think the baby kind of chooses sometimes when that they want to come true. out. That is not true. But we'll put it like this. What if the baby chooses to come three months early? Is that? Now it's premature, yeah. Taylor. I'm okay with the baby's decision. <laughs> oh, my God. You didn't think this one through, did you? I didn't. I didn't. know. Taurus. Okay. Typical Taurus. Bull. Just run into the wall. Boom. Run into the mother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just don't even give a fuck. I got these horns. Bro. This shit ain't going to hurt my brain. Not realizing you're fucking your shit up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Boom. Fuck you. Jesus Christ, Taylor. <laughs> that famous uh, saying, bull that, in a Chris Morrow shop. Bull. <laughs> 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 this is true, though. It is true, though, because I, 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 I you know what's so funny, man? I was talking to, no, no. I, Did I, she just get it? Did you no, just, I'm laughing. Uh, I'm I don't know if I want to say this, but I was, I was talking to somebody I love, my wife, and, um, <laughs> I just was reading. I was just. Re <laughs> <laughs> I was just reading about, like I, I've always read about horror schools, but something I came across saw something about selfishness with Sagittarius. So my wife is a Sagittarius. My wife is the most selfless person yeah. on the planet. Yeah. But I fixed my mouth last night to say she no, was selfish, no, no, just because this no, was in no, my no, head no, no, about no. the goddamn horoscope. No, no. And it was something so. It was so simple. It was like. She wanted to take a shower and the baby was crying, oh, but no. you know, my two youngest share a room. So the baby was crying. I'm like, well, we got to be with the baby because you know, she got school tomorrow. And I don't, you know, and she was like, I need to go take a shower. So you're selfish. Right? Oh, <laughs> boy. <What? laughs> oh boy. Cause I read the stupid ass horoscope. So then That's what happened? Why. So then what happened? Nothing. I just been apologizing all fucking night and day. What the fuck you mean? What happened? Good, good, I said good, that good. shit new immediately. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? Is you out your goddamn mind? I've been apologizing since last night. Okay, <laughs> and she ain't tripping off it. You know what I mean? But you know you fucked. Oh up. my god! As soon as I said that, she said, "Who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck? Who the fuck are you playing? With? Who the fuck you calling selfish?" I'm like, you know, mm, mm, fuck. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's something under my breath. And really, and, my, and myself, I'm saying. Stupid motherfucker. You fucking <laughs> idiot. Why the fuck would you say some stupid shit like that, right? So you let your pride and your ego, your pride and your ego last for like 30 seconds. I go get the baby, keep the baby. She's taking a shower. So the baby falls asleep. I go in the bathroom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. What'd know? she say? Like that. I mean, with get you out for 24 of here. years. You think I don't know your stupid ass? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You stupid fuck. Okay? <laughs> you know, I know you more stupid than you know. <laughs> she didn't say that, but I know that's what she's thinking. That's what all women are thinking with us. You know that, right? Know that's what our wives than, than you know. know. Our wives, listen, do you know how much grace our wives give us? How much? All of it. Yeah. They know we stupid. They yeah. know we so stupid that they'll let us do something. Yeah. Realize we're stupid, yeah. and then let us think that it's our idea that we're stupid. Yeah, when she knew that we were stupid from the beginning, 
Yeah. And she could have just told us that. Yeah. But she knows if she tells us we're stupid, that's going to hurt our yeah. fragile fucking ego. So we got to do the stupid thing <sighs> and they could be like, oh shit, <sighs> you did that You again? don't think it's because you're a cancer? Though? I don't want to hear oh, from you. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You just told us some shit about babies. <laughs> that was wild. We don't want to hear that was from any Tauruses no more. That was the dumbest thing that I've ever heard. Okay. The baby decides when it wants to come out. We treat bro. Taylor the way our wives treat us. Which is? We know it's stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know we know it's going to be stupid. <laughs> but we got to let her get it out so she can hear it back for herself and be like, yeah, that was stupid. Yeah. You had to say it out loud again for That's you to right. be like, God damn, why would I say that? <laughs> <laughs> you did have I'm to gonna do that. Keep my, I'm going to be stubborn. I'm gonna, I believe it. This is the Brilliant Idiots podcast, exactly. though. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's just... She's fleshing ideas out. Yes. She's throwing things against the wall to see what sticks. Okay, Taylor. <laughs> what else, what we else got? you got, Taylor? <laughs> um, what is that about Alex? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh. Who's going to ask how he dresses me? Is anyone? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Scroll up. Scroll up. What does that oh, say? Yeah. Is anyone going to talk to Alex about his clothes? Seriously. Yeah. Char Charlemagne every single week. That's who. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even check them out today. It didn't stand out to me today. I didn't look, though. I didn't look at the pants. The pants, though, Alex. Just your pants. That's all. So, <laughs> I'm good today. Today, I, I got to check. Let me see. Oh, shit. Do the model is Fashion Week. Fit check. Do the walk. Yeah, Alex, clean today, man. That's a clean yeah. look. That's okay, clean as fuck. Go. What clothes they talking about? When you be wearing that tight shit? When we were at Burning Man. Oh, we got to get you to Burning Man, dude. I'd love to go to Burning Man. Go. Yeah, we're going to get you. Have to go. You and Duval next year. We Y'all shower there? That's, that was it's hard, but you can. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, there's no showers? No, no, you can. We have RVs. You shower every day. Oh, where, where? Yeah, that's what I would do. You don't do. shower every day. They do. Yeah, so you can shower. You, you chose can, not to. You can, but... How are the Wait, drugs? you didn't... How are the drugs? Yeah. Drugs are phenomenal. Right, where? What'd y'all take? Everything. Really? Yeah. Not everything. Everything. You only do the big boys. Which one? The no heroin. But you don't want to sleep there. <laughs> like, you, it, it wouldn't be the right <laughs> drug. You know what say, yes, I did. He's like, I, you don't want to sleep there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You wouldn't want, it's not the right, you know, atmosphere for How heroin. How do y'all do it? Y'all sniffed it or shot it? Or? No, we didn't do heroin. Okay. I, you did heroin. No, I, they don't have that. No coke? Yes, yes. coke. Did a little coke? Yeah. I'd be scared to do coke, nah. I've, yeah, never, I, I've yo, never done coke, but with this fentanyl shit, I definitely... People don't do coke no more. I wouldn't. Coke is out. Fent yeah. uh, uh, fent uh, ketamine is in. That's the, the one. That is. It's like a cat tranquilizer or something like horse that. Horse tranquilizer. Oh, horse tranquilizer. Tell me the best plant-based drug y'all did. Mushrooms. mushrooms. Tea or straight up? All of it. Oh, man. Yeah, mushrooms. Nothing. Mushrooms don't really affect me that much. Or you didn't have enough. I didn't have enough there. No ayahuasca or nothing like that? No, but ecstasy. We did a Tesla pill. They they brand the ecstasy pills. Tesla got pills. a pill? So somebody sure. branded it after Tesla and we did a quarter each and that shit was fucking miraculous, bro. Really? And don't do drugs. Everybody at home, don't do drugs. It's bad. But if you do, do that shit because that shit is fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that shit is crazy. What stuff. did it do? Say again? What did it do to you? Oh, my calves were fucking tingling, bro. The whole body was feeling great. Yeah. I was just hugging random people. It was just incredible, <laughs> dude. Sex crazy? Nah, nah. My wife didn't come. Oh. And I mean, she didn't... <laughs> Go there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a selfish ass drug. Yeah. I'm like, what? It's so How long does it last? Is that? How long does it last? Say again. How long does it last? What the ecstasy pill? I don't so know. That's a good question. Just... I, go, I'm... I don't know. A few hours. A few hours. I'm scared of that type of shit. I'm not gonna lie. My anxiety too bad. As soon as my heart starts beating crazy, I'm I'm in, in my mind. I'm like, why did you nah, put this shit in your body? Ecstasy got your back. Yeah. Ecstasy, you're not even gonna think about it. Really? The next morning, you'd be like, the fuck did I do? But Why, well, you got a hangover or something? Like, had... ah, you were like, yeah, you could be a little down a little bit. Coke is the one. I never did Coke before. That was the first time I ever did Coke. The next day sucked. Took me a whole day to recover. Coke is useless. I'm not doing no fucking more Coke. Because you can get way better. You get the same feeling from Adderall, and the next day, you're good. Bro, you got that Coke nose. You got to be careful. That's bro. the thing, man. <laughs> yeah. that That's the nose, thing. They had to, Alex had to give me little bumps. No, He's don't like, do I that, can't let bro. you go crazy. I, we here, cannot bro. have shows out here. For real. That shit will look He put crazy. some shit on his pinky. I sniffed his nail right off his finger. <laughs> 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 what the fuck, man? Give us another one, Taylor. Let's get the fuck out of here. Make it a good one. Okay. Um... I have a question. That's crazy. Jerry, Jerry, I literally, more? I literally said something about rap and Jerry, Jerry asked me, do I think, um, scroll up to, he said, do you guys feel like rap hasn't innovated since 2019? I, I mm. definitely feel like it has. I just gave y'all a bunch of dope ass rappers. Uh, give me who else? What we got? Uh, Let me see that UK question. Great. Salute to the UK. They, they want the real niggas in the UK so bad. Oh, let's go. Which one are we looking for, Taylor? Give us one more good one. Not the UK. This one. Where what? 
If y'all had, okay, this is from Biggs1904. If y'all had the ability to be a pro athlete, what sport would you guys pick? Ooh. WNBA. <laughs> Yo, you are so. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I picked the WNBA. Salute to the WNBA. Salute to Asia Wilson and the Las Vegas Aces. Asia about to bring another championship home oh, to South Carolina. I would be a basketball player, but it's nothing, it's nothing fly to me than basketball. I love football, but basketball players, basketball is the shit, basketball. bro. Like, yo, when you watch what basketball players can do, that shit is unbelievable, man. And it, it like what Steph Curry does, yeah. what we've seen Michael Jordan do, Kobe Bryant. You know, even Shaq, people sleep on Shaq, man. But to be seven foot three, oh, 330, and, this is America. my God, it, for me, it would be basketball hands down. Like, I, I think basketball, I'm going to say something that might be, people might get upset, but I think they're the most skilled athletes, bro. Yeah, they are. I think they're the most skilled. I or, think they yeah. have to be in the most shape. It's the most, yeah, it's the it's You're the running up and down the court. Because yes. it's the size and the agility. Yes. And that's the thing that's most random. Like, yes. you see tall people all the time, but they're goofy. They can't move like that. But tall people that are actually coordinated is probably the most rare. Yes. Yeah. And you're running up and down the court for 48 fucking yeah. minutes. Right? Most of these guys that are superstars either play all 48 or at least 40 plus. Yeah. Right? And then when you think about it from a psychological perspective, it's like boxing, right? In boxing, you can't slip in the ring. You slip, that might be the moment you get jabbed, you get knocked Over. out. It's the same thing with basketball. You can't slip on defense. You can't slip on sleep on offense. Like, yeah. I think I, by far it's basketball. Yo, Formula One driver would be fire, too. That shit ain't impressive because it's the car. It is the car. Now, if you could be the Transformer that turns into a car, <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> there's a, there's a, yeah, but being a Formula One driver, there's only 20 of them. In the whole world. Really? You get paid crazy bread. Really? Crazy bread. You drive the most amazing cars ever created by man. Like hundreds of millions of dollars goes into the, the creation of these cars. And you work three days a week, tops. Like, mm. it is the most popular sport in the world. Every weekend. NASCAR? No, no, not Formula One, not NASCAR. Race car driving the most popular sport in the world? Every, every race. Not more than soccer. Ev no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Every race for Formula One gets the same amount of viewers as the World Cup. Really? The World Cup happens once every four years. These races happen every, it's every week or every that. other week or something like that. It is the most popular sport in the world. And no way. All right. It's not more popular than football. <laughs> you not All right. No, check way. the numbers, my boy. And it's not about facts anyway. Who cares? Exactly. But there's more games in the World Cup, so. In more totality. games in the World Cup? More games. So in totality, <laughs> the World saying, Cup is getting I hear what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> I hear what he's saying. That's why they put in the Middle East to reduce the amount of those. <laughs> that was... <laughs> is it though? What? <laughs> what, is he, what? what did you think he said? Gays. That's why I said that's in the Middle oh, East. Oh, got you, got you, got you. The got World you. Cup's going to be in Qatar. Oh, I don't know what that means. Qatar is a country out there. Okay. Yeah. And salute to Steph Curry, man. About to do a billion dollar lifetime deal with Under The GOAT. Wow. Do you know how fire a basketball player you got to be to bring any value to Under Armour Son. sneakers? Son, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I read something the other day. It was like he made, he took Under Armour from a $14 billion company to a $28 billion company. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I am was you shocked. You know what that means when you make a company's evaluation double? double. Man, get the, yo, Steph Curry's the fucking GOAT, man. Yeah. No, get absolutely Steph unbelievable. Curry. Uh, absolutely. What, give us one more, Taylor. What do you think, Triple G versus Canelo? Oh. Oh. Uh, I got Canelo. Um, it's gonna be interesting because I want to know. I don't know how much Canelo got taken out of him from that last fight when he went up to uh. And he's vegan heavyweight, now. Light heavyweight. So maybe being vegan is taking it away from him a bit. Triple G is a lot older. That's you know true. what I mean. And That's Canelo, true. Canelo feels Canelo seems to be a lot more active than Triple G. I got Canelo. You know what I mean. I don't even. I don't even know if it's gonna be a good good fight. Think you about think it's yo, gonna be boring. I mean, it's not going to be boring, but think about think about how how long we waited for the first Triple G Canelo fight, and how excited we were when they first fought. Like, oh yes, shit, Triple G right. Canelo! And then even the second one, there was a lot more anticipation. This one is just it just feel like another fight on yeah, a Saturday. Yeah. They're not promoting it right, man. And I don't by think, they, I mean like Canelo. You got to do the work on promoting too, bro. Canelo fights so much though. He think, fights so much that it's just like it everybody. Like, there's, yeah. I, I don't think there's no event fight Canelo. They don't could feel do. special. Nah, yeah. I don't think there's no event fight Canelo could have right now. None. Interesting. Because we're going to tune in regardless. I like watching Canelo fight. Also, we're learning now that the, so many YouTubers are doing it that like 
the fight game isn't as much dominated by the skill of the fighter, but by the investment in the personality. Yeah. And that's something like Mayweather really understood, and there are other boxers right. that understood it too. It's like, you are a personality. You're essentially a YouTuber as a fighter. It's like, get motherfuckers invested in you, and then they will care to see you fight. He don't speak good enough English to do that. And watch it with you. I know. Family. So what are we going to do? Watch it on Saturday. Damn right. I'm definitely <laughs> watching. Uh, Jake Paul, Anderson Silva, who you got in that, though? Man, it's just so crazy, man. It's like, this is a huge step up for Jake. You know, there's a huge step up. You know, I fucks with Jake and Logan. I just love what they're doing. Yes, yeah, Logan. But it's like the, I mean, he know he's got to know that Anderson Silva is an elite striker. He's 48 years old, but he's an elite striker who's had actual boxing matches, who's been in there with actual boxers. So it's like it's not like he's fighting some MMA guy. He's fighting a guy who has. Yeah. I think I think Anderson Silva got like eight fights or ten fights boxing matches. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. So it's like. This is a wild step up for Jake. All the credit to Jake in the world for actually taking this fight because he he definitely could have taken fights with lesser opponents, lesser boxers. This is way more dangerous than Tommy Fury. Remember he was going to fight Tommy Fury? Yeah. Bro, bro, way more dangerous. Anderson Silva just beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., right? That's Julio Cesar Chavez's son who's yeah. a super middleweight boxer. Mm -hmm. Like, legit boxer with probably, I don't know, 30, 40 fights or something like that. Maybe even more than that. He just beat him in a boxing match. Here's the thing. All Jake got to like, do is... This is huge. All Jake got to do is go to distance. That's interesting. That's well, all you got to do, even if, even if he don't win. If he go to distance and, like, Anderson Silva wins by decision, as long as Jake doesn't get knocked out. Why? Because social media can't wait. Uh, if Jake take a knockout, if he gets knocked out, uh, gets knocked down, he going to get killed mm, online. So all you got to do is go to distance. If he go to distance and don't get knocked out against yeah. Anderson Silva... And here's, but here's the thing. Jake got the equalizer. Jake got knockout power. I don't Jake, think he can knock out Anderson Silva, though. Nah, he could. You got knocked nah, out. Anderson Silva got knocked out before. Yeah, he's got knocked out before. Yeah, but he got knocked out by a fighter that's at least on his caliber. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, we say Jake has knockout power, and I'm not saying he doesn't, but you got to think about who he knocked out, guys. Also, Anderson is hard to hit. Like, Anderson is great. Fuck it. It's, this is going to be, I'm tuning in. And it was the right matchup for Jake. It was the right thing to get people excited. I mean, just brilliant. I'm tuning in regardless because it's entertainment. Like, I don't yeah. I don't have a stake in it. Like, you know, people used to, like, watch Floyd Mayweather because they used to want to see him lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't care if Jake wins or loses. I actually think it's fun when he wins. And we haven't seen him lose yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm sure if he loses, he'll make it fun. But, and by the way, if he loses, depending on how he loses, he'll make it fun too. If he gets yeah. knocked out, it's going to be a fun night yeah. on social media. He's an entertainer. He's if he knocks them out, it's going to be a fun yeah. night on social media. Yeah. You know what I mean? If he goes to decision, that's probably the most disappointing thing. But I think that's probably the most likely thing that'll happen. Yeah. I could see it potentially going to decision. I can, I can see Jake going to a decision with Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva winning by decision. I, mean, I can see crazy. that. Just I crazy. Salute yeah. to uh, those guys too, man. Salute to Logan Paul and all those guys, yeah, man. Yeah, great guys. That, uh, that pod, that's another one. It's like when, you know, when you, you, you do certain things and then when you're out, you feel it. Yeah, you, know you know felt I mean? it after doing oh, no, it. No, yeah. I, I had people coming up to me like, yo, I saw you on the poster, man. Yeah. Love the conversation on the poster, blah, 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 this and that. So, you know, salute to those guys. Yeah. Um, I think we did it, man. My man. No one did that one? Which one? The first one. Uh, we can say that for next week. Why are there uh, so many people calling in? As always, if that's what they're supposed to do. I was like a call every fucking two seconds. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're brilliant, you think we're intelligent, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the brilliant in this podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.